Hey guys, and welcome back to Battlefront updates and an actual Battlefront release. Can you guys believe we are experiencing that in 2024? I mean, yes, it's a re-release, but it's still Battlefront and it's a release. I'll take it. And holy shit, we've already got 300 people in there. What's going on, guys? I haven't seen this much people on my streams for I don't even know how long ago. Douglas Armstrong, thank you very much for the 149 super chat. Uh, Appreciate the support, kicking it off even before I'm, I'm, I'm actually live. Um, Douglas, you actually even got the stream boss, uh, stream boss sniper. Ironic. So uh, thank you very much, Douglas. Appreciate it. Um, my God, I'm surprised to see much, this much people. I guess I shouldn't be surprised because my video that I uploaded today is doing absolutely fantastic. It's getting, I don't know, it's probably like over 60,000 views now in a couple of hours, which is insane for my channel yeah it's getting closer to closer to seventy thousand views in five hours that's just insane um oh guys we might actually we might actually hit two hundred thousand subscribers during this stream um is there any way to like a youtube wait 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 maybe i can no let me, let me try something here guys if youtube has uh, i mean uh, let's see here image uh, it should be text and then I should say subscriber count. And I'm going to see if there is a file um, from Streamlabs that actually has the live subscriber count. I'm not sure if it is, but it would be really cool uh, if I could get a subscriber count actually up on here. Let's see here. That should be under... Well, give me one moment, guys, because I, I really want to get this counter up. I didn't realize we were this close, but the video today has kind of pushed, um, has really pushed the, 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 the subscriber count. Um, let's see here. It should be like that. Browse. And then let's... Oh, fuck. Wrong keyboard. Oh, I forgot to copy because I'm... Mm, fucking hell. Uh, don't use two keyboards, guys. It's it's stupid because well, that's what happens when you have uh, two PCs. All right, copy, and there we go. And the browse, and uh, let's see if there is any. Let's see here. All time top donator donation goal follow train. I don't think that's follow that's the right thing, right? This should be like a just total. Subscribe, sub, sub train, sub train, total uh, YouTube donation amount. No, total, to weekly YouTube subscriber count. count. Is it not the total? There we go. Total YouTube subscriber count. Let's see if that one works. Ah, okay. So it kind of works, but it, it's only for like whole thousands. But that could maybe mean that it will update to 200,000 potentially. So, I mean, it's uh, it's kind of something, uh, even though it's not live. I can see it live on my dashboard here where, where it says 199,916. We're 84 subscribers away from 200,000. Um, 400, holy shit, guys. What is going on? So many people in the chat. Uh, how are you all doing? There's too many for me to even say hello to everyone, but how's it going? Jack, uh, uh, Max, Hamati, good to see you. Fussy, Trusted, Diogo, Roman. Um, and everything PS5 Pro, how's it going, man? Good to see you. <laughs> Sir Pineapple, you absolute legend. Yeah, there was definitely too little green in the chat. There are so many new viewers here. Thank you so much, Sir Pineapple, for the five gifted Senator memberships, and welcome Circus Baby, Luke Baller, Roker Films, Dakota, and Viesta to the Senate. Guys, if you want to have a chance to get a membership, click the little alert, and uh, click, click the little alert, alert and click Allow Gifts. 100% Star Wars, my friend. Good to see you in the chat, too. Um... 100% Star Wars, a huge shout out, guys, to 100% Star Wars in the chat, because he was the reason that why I got this early access. Because Aspire isn't responding to anyone. Like, I've at least five or six people I know 
applied to get early access, including myself. None of us got a response from Aspire. Just horrible communication. But 100% Star Wars had one extra code. He gave that to me. Absolute legend. So we were able to actually test out the multiplayer together and things like that. Um, so huge shout out to 100% Star Wars. Um, guys, if, I'm, if I can't keep up to the chat, with the chat today... I'm sorry, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try to respond to to everything. Vasi, how's it going, man? Oscar, um, I think that yeah. Wait. Uh, A new donation to Battlefront updates. Battlefront archives. Can you please test mod support for us? We can walk you through. It would be a huge help to the BF2 modding community. I am a BF2 2005. Thank you very much for the super chat. Uh, Battlefront Archives, I appreciate it very much. Uh, split skin with Simon Boy got a code about an hour ago, even though it's already out. Yeah, it, it's so stupid that they're this late. But yeah, I don't know if I can test it. Uh, I talked to uh, some people who, uh, like KFM and, and uh, some other people involved with the modding. And basically, if you, in case you saw my video, the game launches as one game. You know, you, you launch the classic collection, so none of the current mods will work right now. I mean, I'm sure you'll, hopefully, you'll be able to mod the mods so that it works. You know, same thing as when Battlefront 2 from EA got an update, you had to update the mods. I hope that's going to be the same thing here. Um, but I'm not sure um, how I can test it now that the game actually launches differently. And I don't know if I'm the best, like... If it's an easy way I can test it now, sure, I can do it for you. But it seems like the game is actually starting to roll out now already. Like in New Zealand and Australia, it's already out. So within 24 hours or within 12 hours or something, everyone's going to have access. So it's probably easier to just um, show us the file structure. That I can do, sure. Um, let's see here. Uh, let me uh, show... Um, could probably be installed files and then see browse and then here is probably what you need to see i'm gonna just take some screenshot or something um i am a senator mm -hmm. <laughs> Hamat Don't forget to like the stream all 500 of my god 500 people in the chat this is insane mr uh, hamati Thank you very much, my friend, for the 59 months. I think we got another senator that didn't pop up for some reason. Luke Bowler. Thank you very much for the four months in the Senate. Appreciate it. Luke, Elliot, I'm, Elliot, I'm so happy for you. Thank you, Luke. This is, this is fun time. I didn't think I was going to be able to experience this kind of joy in making videos and streaming again. So, well, thank you all for watching. And, uh, and yeah. Holy shit, they are using mods. So is this good? Is this good? I mean, I don't know anything about modding. Uh, is there anything else I need to uh, check here? Um, it was indeed... I didn't think this was going to be this big, to be completely honest. Because it is just just a re-release. And, I mean, they've done Force Unleashed, the re-release, the Republic Commando and such. And none of them have really gotten that much attention. But this one, however, uh, yeah. Uh... Are there any accessibility options? I got a disability, I can't move my fingers much. Hoping for at least being able to switch the pause key bind into something other than escape. I could check that for you. Uh, I know there's like uh, colorblind settings that are new, but I'm not sure about... I mean, and there you, it seems like you can rebind most of the stuff. I can check specifically if you can switch the pause button once we boot up the game. Do you modders need to see anything else than this? Uh, or is this good? Take some screenshots if you need to save this, by the way. Um... Add on one, the battle from add on one, add on. So this is good, right? It seems like this is good. Like, uh, open the add on folder, okay? Uh, it just says tat3 and then data add me dot script level common and then uh, a bunch of stuff here. Uh, and add on two is. Oh, nice. It's the Xbox DLC actually. It seems to be added through. Well, I guess they added it as a mod or something. I don't know. Uh, unclear. Level switch, um, yeah. Hopefully, you guys understand uh, what what this uh, is all about. 
Uh, but I'm, I'm clicking through all of it. You can just go back and watch it again if there's something in particular you're, you want to see. But hopefully you modders will be happy because I hope this will be moddable as that's obviously good for everyone. Um, is this stream going to overlap with the official release of the game or are you doing a different one for tomorrow? I'll pro I'm probably doing a stream tomorrow. Uh, but, but to be fair, it seems like the release is kind of fluid. It's kind of now. Again, it's rolled out in Australia and New Zealand already, and it slowly rolls out country by country. So there's not really an official like time. Uh, obviously, there will would be a time for when like Sweden or America uh, gets the release, but um, it's kind of now, I guess. But I mean, it's early access for me because I couldn't normally play it without a VPN. So yeah, um, are you guys are you modders? How mods work then? Good to hear. Uh, you could have refunded the game and it would have worked. That happened to Elliot. Oh, was that the same thing where you actually got a code? Uh, yeah, that was the same. Yeah, because I couldn't, uh, I couldn't uh, apply the code that 100% Star Wars gave me at first. But then I, re so I refunded the game on Steam because I already bought it, and then I could use the code. So, so yeah, uh, I am Swedish indeed. Well spotted. Um, I don't know about any day one patch. Uh, Okay, I think hopefully you modders are happy now and we can get into the game and just start playing and uh, do what we're all here to do. Um, I haven't seen the chat this buzzing. I, I need to take a screenshot and like post it on the. Uh, uh, post it up on uh, Instagram. Um, <laughs> Thank you for the answer. Uh, no worries. Uh, let's see here. Charles, man, what the? F why is Streamlabs slacking off and like missing a bunch of donations and shit? What's going on? Uplands vs uh, Upland Uplands v Boys. Thank you very much for the ten crown super chat. That's a local Swedish person. I mean, that's pretty. Uplands Vaspi, that's like pretty close to where I live, uh, fairly. So maybe it's someone I know, I don't know. Thank you very much for the 10 crowns, appreciate it. And okay, there we go, it's a bit of a delay only. God damn it, Streamlabs needs to wake the hell up for Battlefront updates. Um, okay, there we go again. My god, can't keep up. Or Streamlabs can't keep up to be more. Uh, updates. In the offline modes, can you change the bot count to 32 per team, or is it like the original with oh, my only fucking 16 per team? Fuck off, Epic Games. Uh, why is this Epic Games pop up, popping up? And ah, oh, there we go. Um, uh, let's see. Spectre Streams, thank you very much for the five dollar donation. Appreciate it very much. In the off, uh, oh my god, w one second, guys. One. Donation to Battlefront update. Watched in 2015 through to the second game. <laughs> Getting those vibes again. Looking forward to all that damage. Thank you very much, guys. Appreciate it. First of all, Spectre Streams, thank you for the donation. In the offline modes, can you change the bot count to 32 per team or is it... Yes, Spectre Streams, you can. I'm going to just jump into Battlefront 2 first here. Uh, but yes, I can confirm you can get 32 to 32. And... But I think that was available in the original. It's only the multiplayer that was limited, as far as I remember. So, but yeah, you can do that, and you can also um, do the Excel mode, which I don't know how many bots that are in the Excel mode, but I would guess at least 100, if not more. Um, uh, but... Ah, la 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 la, copyright claim, shut up. I thought I turned off the in-game music. Wait, what the fuck's going on? There we go. Okay. Um, yeah. So if you go to single player, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna answer your question. I'm gonna go through the questions here before. We, why is it lagging? What is? What the hell is going on? Oh no! Please tell me this is not. This game. Ha you saw my review. It ran really, really smoothly. Uh, haven't played it for two days. Uh, but 100% Star Wars said that when he played it today, it crashed like crazy. I hope that's not why it's stuttering and lagging like this. Could just be a small thing. But uh, let's hope this is... Yeah. Um, yeah, so instant action. Okay, I I'm going to keep up. <laughs> appreciate, appreciate the support, guys. Catherine, thank you very much. Uh, Roman, thank you very much. Uh, uh, one second. 
one thing one thing at a time yes if you go here or you go to global you can choose here ai units units per team you can go all the way up to 32 and you can play the xl mode on geonosis hoth and kashik which is i can show you guys it's like i would guess 100 ai maybe in total at 50 60 per, per side it's like crazy um 128 bots yeah that's yeah that that sounds uh, likely Thank you, Spectre, for that. Uh, Shmobody, thank you very much for the $5 super chat. And thank you for watching all the way from Battlefront 2015. Battlefront 1, Battlefront 2, and now we're starting over with Battlefront 1 and Battlefront 2 again. Appreciate it. And Roman and Catherine, thank you guys very much for um, uh, rejoining, or staying in the Senate. Appreciate it, guys. Uh, Excel mode is offline only, and uh, not multiplayer. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm just gonna keep answering and 700 people my god. I haven't seen these kind of numbers for I don't know how long appreciate you all Let's see. Uh, can you show? Yes. I will check if I can get those um, Accessibility settings for you options. It should be under controls. It should Actually, I'm a bit unsure now because These are only settings for the actual you know, like character, if that makes sense. I am not seeing anything for the menu, so I'm not sure if it's possible to change the menu from escape. Unless I'm missing a tab, is player list. But escape in particular, I don't see on this list, unfortunately. Uh, unless it's under something else, but I don't think so. Game options, maybe under... Uh, probably not here, there's colorblind aim assist there are like some of those accessibility things they've added but unfortunately probably not uh that sorry about that man um is it possible to play space coruscant on instant action well if it's been possible before it definitely is possible here i don't actually remember if that particular map is available but let's take a look take a look uh space Coruscant, no. Wait, isn't Space Coruscant one of the maps that was only available in the campaign or something like that? Or am I misremembering? Because it's not on the instant action list, at least, uh, from what I can tell. So maybe it's something like that. FPS has, yeah, the FPS has been crazy high. Like, if you, I don't know how many of you guys have seen my review, but the FPS, I'm getting like literally six, seven hundred FPS. Sure, I've got a pretty beefy PC, but. Everything I've played so far has been incredibly smooth, except the fucking multiplayer. Um, like, when me and 100% Star Wars tested the multiplayer out, in Battlefront 1, I got 600 FPS, smooth as a butter. In Battlefront 2, I got 29 FPS, capped FPS under 30. Absolute dog shit. Like, the weird thing was that a few servers, when I joined the official Aspire servers, it was actually smooth, but every time I tried to host, or 100% Star Wars tried to host, it was laggy as shit. Um, from 700 FPS down to 29. Um, are the achievements cool? Yes, I don't think I can show them in... Oh, actually, maybe I can show them here. Um, yeah, I guess I can show them in-game. In game. I've already gotten a couple here just by the little I've played. Um, but it's like, you need to get the medals, um, it, the ranks, um, it's a lot of things about the medal and the ranks, and then there's a few extra ones, like, uh, let's see, knock the Jedi off the platform in Battlefront 1, take down an at, -AT with tow cables, this one, execute, defeat a Jedi hero by knocking them off in Battlefront, that one I don't think works, because I actually did this during the early access, and I didn't get the achievement, uh, maybe it just glitched out, or it was early access, I don't know. But most of it has to do with the, the medals, um, and obviously completing the campaign. But I thought it was pretty fun. Like, th this is some good stuff. I could see myself actually completing all of these after a while, at least. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Gabor, how's it going? Um, but let's see how the... I'm, just, I'm probably going to... I don't know what to start off with. Excel mode, uh, do the campaign. I'm going to check how the multiplayer servers work, because, again... It hasn't... Uh, uh, it hasn't worked. Uh, sorry, I, I just got a text. Uh, yeah. So, it isn't officially out here. 
but if you use a VPN, you should, should still be in. So there could be some players on servers. I'm going to check um, the server list here and see how it looks. And see if there's actually some people playing. No, it's actually completely empty. So, oh, actually, never mind. I guess uh, I just realized that I think it was only on Xbox that it's available in New Zealand and Australia. Maybe on Steam it's a global release because right now all the servers are empty. So I can't really show you guys multiplayer today, probably. Um, um, unless there's more early access people who wants to join. But again, they were pretty bad at actually handing... Um, uh, uh, yeah, getting um, uh, handing out the codes. Uh, well, let me, let me get this. Uh, let's get the 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 subscriber count up on this on this one as well, so we can see if we actually hit two hundred thousand, because that would be pretty cool. Uh, where did I add that? Total subscriber count. There it is. All right. So I don't know how actively this one is updated. But I, it's, it's, it's only updated on like full thousand increments. I'm hoping that maybe it's going to actually pop up to 200,000 times sometime during this stream. But we'll see. Um, how do you get to this rank? Well, the rank um, is uh, options, career stats. It's this one up here. All these medals and stuff. I've actually got a big chunky tips and tricks video. Um that I might release tonight, actually. I was thinking about uh, holding it off until tomorrow when the official release is, but now that I'm seeing that it's actually releasing in a lot of parts of the world already, I might actually uh, release my tips and tricks video, um, which goes over how all of these career medals work and, and things like that. Um, I will... Uh, yeah, I, I'll, I'll release, release it after the stream, probably. Um... Charles, thank you very much for the two pound super chat, my friend. I appreciate it. Imagine split screen mods would be incredible. Well, there are there is split screen actually. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of mods you're thinking of, but uh, unfortunately, I don't have two controllers, so I can't really show you guys uh, uh, split screen. Plus, I'm playing by, by myself, so yeah, we it's here. The split screen is here if you want it, but obviously not relevant for me right now. Um. Uh, um, 750 people watching indeed that is crazy I appreciate you all tuning in as always if you got any G Fuel drinkers here in the chat don't forget to use code SHIV when you're picking up your G Fuel if you want some energy if you want some hydration they've got everything you need so many new viewers here so you might be some avid G Fuel drinkers especially from if you're from the US because I know it's a uh, Obviously, the biggest there. But don't forget to use code SHIV, guys. I would appreciate it very much. Uh, every purchase really helps out. Um, been out for five ish hours already in Australia, so I'll be stoked to check out your Metal Guide vid too. Um, yeah, I just for the sake of the YouTube algorithm, I probably won't release it right now. But as soon as I'm done with this stream, I will. Um, I will publish that video. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, have you played the game online and noticed that you hit people but they take no damage? The hit doesn't register. Uh, again, I, I've barely played with any real players. I played a little bit with 100% Star Wars. I actually did find it to be a little bit hard to hit him, but I'm not sure why that was because... I thought it was just because he was moving like crazy, like he was rolling, dodging, so I thought that's why I was missing. Um, but maybe he's in the chat and can verify if he could hit me well, because he killed me multiple times, so yeah. Um, okay, I'm gonna... I was gonna play the campaign, but now I'm really unsure, because there's so many of you in the chat. So why don't we do this the uh, Padme way, the democratic way. Start a poll, and you guys can choose what... Do I play? I'm gonna put it to Battlefront 1. Battlefront 1 campaign. Battlefront 2 campaign. Hit that like button, people. Oh, be gone, my friend. Thank you very much for the 17 months and for the support. Appreciate it. And then I'm gonna put uh, Battlefront 2 instant action slash XL. Or I'm gonna put Battlefront... Uh, the Galactic Conquest I might do later, but I'm not going to start with that. It's a bit too complicated, to be honest. Uh, Battlefront 1 
instant action. You guys can vote online. Again, like I said, there are no servers. This game is not officially out on Steam. It's only av available in uh, Australia, New Zealand on the Xbox. So if I go to multiplayer here, there are no servers. So it's completely pointless for me to show that uh, to you. I could do it tomorrow when it's actually out. But as you can see, there's only... These are the Aspire dedicated servers. They are completely empty. I guess there's someone here who has an empty server too. But that's probably just um, some random developer or um, other press people or something like that. So... Multiplayer right now is pointless. That's why um, uh, we won't be uh, we, we won't be uh, trying out that. Um, uh, uh, mods working. Yes, we actually had some modders here earlier in the stream who uh, wanted to see the file structure, so I showed them that, and they were happy. So I interpret that as yes, mods uh, do indeed work. The mods will obviously need some tweaking and stuff since the game is kind of split into one or combined into one. But um, uh, wait, did we actually hit two hundred thousand? Did we actually hit? I don't know why this thing up here. This thing up here seems to be slow as hell. Did we actually hit 200? Man, I, I, I wish I had a counter live because I kind of wanted to, like, you know, get a screenshot of exactly 200,000. But my god, did we actually hit 200,000 subscribers? Let's see. 200,009. Wait, wait, we gotta. This is like kind of an unexpected and big moment for the channel because we've been stuck for years and years and years. Uh, fuck, what happened? Did my mouse die? No, oh, there we go. Uh, let's see. I don't know how to get like a live subscriber count up or something. It just doesn't seem to work. But if we just bring my subscriber page up, we can see that it says 200,000 subscribers. It only took six years, I think, from 100,000. My God. I think I think the 100K video, I need to check actually when I hit that. But I think it was probably like 2018 or something. Let's see, 100K. Uh, nope, I guess maybe 100... Uh, Thousand? Nope. Fucking YouTube sucks ass. Can't even search like that, maybe. No, 2016, actually, not 2018. So it's been eight years since I hit 100k. It took eight years from 100. It took longer from 100k to 200k than it did from, from zero to 100k. Uh, thank you guys very much. Um. That is crazy. 200,000 subscribers. Absolute crazy milestone. Man, we're, we're getting subscribers so far. Look at that. Now it's updated up here. 200,000 officially. My God. Uh, absolute crazy. Appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate you guys supporting this. Uh, yeah, this whole release has just been like a big ass like injection of adrenaline to my channel, which is... Uh, uh, which is crazy. So I appreciate you all watching and we're just getting started with the stream again I've got a, the video today is doing incredibly well. It's sitting at 73,000 views right now my tips and tricks video also chunky 20 20 minute plus video coming out um, After the stream is concluded um, So yeah, thank you guys for the kind words. Thank you for the congratulations. It's it's crazy to uh, Crazy to finally hit this milestone. I, I kind of gave up on this like, you know in the beginning I was like, oh 10k 20k 100k and then I was like, all right, my channel is basically lose ever since 20 21 I've basically been losing subscribers until Lego Star Wars. I got a little bump and then yeah, it's kind of like sitting there so uh Appreciate. Let's see. How's the vote looking? How's the vote looking? Battlefront 2. Okay, you guys definitely want more Battlefront 2. So I think we're doing instant action and Excel to start off. Um, um, Adam in the chat. Holy shit, I haven't seen Adam. Uh, old time friend for so many years. Thank you very much. Uh, appreciate it. We got it. We got we really got to meet up. I mean, how many years has it been since we met? I don't even know. But uh, thank you for dropping by and thank you for the congrats. Let's get into the battlefront. I know that's what a lot of you are waiting. Oh, stop talking about your channel. I don't care about your subscriber count. Uh, let's get into. Let's start off. If you want instant action, let's start off with the biggest stuff first, which is XL. Why don't we play one XL match on each? Oh, actually. Uh, Thank you very much, Ian, for the super chat. And, well, oh my god, I can't even keep up to the... Let's see here. Let's see. Single player instant really action. Really hoping our heroes are still in instant action. Was Xbox only. 
Shame if they forgot it. I think... Ian, first of all, thank you very much for the two dollars. Do the AI still get stuck in the corner on Naboo? Which... I don't know. I did definitely notice some crappy AI. Especially... It was most noticeable on the... Um, the new maps you can now play Hero Assault on. Like, I played uh, that, that, that Star, which wasn't originally, has ever been available uh, as a Hero Assault map, and the AI was shit there, to be honest. Um, but um, I don't, I, I, I'll have to check Naboo specifically. Clone Cam, thank you very much for the $5. Really hope AI heroes are still in instant action. Was Xbox only? Was that really, a, was that really only on Xbox? That is so... I, I kind of feel like I remember fighting... Oh, actually, I did play on Xbox now that I think about it, so I probably did fight. But I think it probably isn't available. Because there is no option here. I mean, that's kind of bad, because that means the only way I can fight other heroes is if I play Hero Assault. But again, we have multiple maps to play Hero Assault on now, so I guess that's kind of fine, to be honest. Um, uh, it's not really the most... I, I don't know. Uh, so that's, but it seems like there's no AI heroes on Conquest at least. Um, I, yeah, I person I saw some people complaining that we didn't get the PC menu, but the PC and the PC menu looks like shit to be honest. This menu is way better in my opinion. Um, so let's set up a nice little. Throw me your suggestions in the chat what you want to see, and that's the lovely thing about instant action. We can just add. A list of what we want to play. So I'm gonna start off with uh, some Excel. Let's see, Geonosis, Kashyyyk, or Hoth. I'm gonna go for. I tr I sh tried Hoth and saw how fucking massive it was. So I'm gonna add a Hoth Excel mode, um, so you guys can see that. And then I'll add something else in between, and then we can add Excel mode for Conquest, for instance. Um, Let's see what you guys want to see. Excel Hoth, yes, uh, I, it, it is definitely there. Thank you very much, Django's, appreciate it. Um, can we actually push over a thousand concurrent viewers? That hasn't happened since, I don't know, years, years, years. Uh, a thousand concurrent viewers and 200,000 subscribers, absolutely crazy. Can we do it? Um, you can't do Excel Polis Massa, you can only do Excel on Kashyyyk, Geonosis, and Hoth. Um, but a lot of you are saying Polis Massa, so let's add Polis Massa. Uh, let's see, Polis Massa. Just to give you guys something completely new, why don't we play some Hero Assault? Never ever seen in the world before. Hero Assault on Polis Massa, unless maybe someone else with early access made a video on it, but let's try that. Polis Massa Hero Assault, never been done before. Um... And the DLC map, alright, let's add, let's see, let's add, uh, the DLC maps are, uh, again, it's, uh, Tatooine, Jabba's, Pal Jabba's Palace, and it's also, but I kind of prefer Renvar, I am gonna go for Renvar Harbor, because I've never played that in Battlefront 2, only in Battlefront 1, so I'm gonna go Renvar Harbor, wait, what? You can play Hunt? On that map? What the hell? I don't know what species will even be on there, but let's add it and see what, what it is. Renvar has hunt? How does that even make sense? Oh, it's Wampus, really? Okay, okay. Let's add another Excel mode. Let's go, uh, let's go, um, um, add, and we go for Geonosis. Or Kashyyyk. I'm gonna go Geonosis. Let's go Geonosis and we do another Excel mode. Clone Wars. Alright, we got four on the list right here. Let's see if you guys have any other suggestions for what you want. Oh, that was an Xbox DLC Wampus. I see. That's pretty cool. Uh, I've only played the Wampus hunt on Hoth. Um, did they update the AI command menu? Not sure if they updated it, but it still works. Endor does not have Excel. A space map, yes, we should definitely play some space battles. Uh, good suggestion. Let's add space battles. I don't. That's. I don't really remember. I'm gonna go Clone Wars at least, and let's do assault. Uh, have you had any frame issues? Uh, 
For single player, no. I mean, my FPS is fucking off the charts. I'll show you guys when we actually get in the, the game. But the multiplayer has major issues. But again, a thousand concurrent viewers. Let's. I gotta get. I gotta just gotta take a screenshot of this. This is uh, this is insane to see this many people watching and to get up to two hundred thousand subscribers. I really appreciate you all supporting the channel. One K concurrent viewers, two hundred two hundred thousand subscribers, and. We've got ourselves a new Battlefront release. Can you test if that Star Conquest is fixed? Unit depletion was double for Rebels and Clones. That actually, I think, is not fixed. The only reason to why I'm saying that is because I did not know that was a current bug, but you will see that in some of my review footage, I was actually playing uh, on the Death Star, and I remember thinking, damn, this match ended really fast. So I think it's not fixed. Probably. Um, can you show the graphic settings? Uh, I can. I think I checked, tried this already, but they've also done so that I've, if I made this playlist here and I back out, it should keep it. Let me just make sure it actually does. Yes, it does. Good. So let's uh, go to the graphic settings uh, if you guys want to see those. Uh, I don't know. I honestly don't know what of this that's new. It's very basic. Uh, there's like, yeah, you can't even choose your resolution, I guess, which is kind of weird. Um, but I don't know. It's been smooth for me. But let us play, guys. Holy shit, there is a lot of people watching. If you guys want to join... Look, I've never seen this chat as un-green as it is right now, which is positive in the way that we all usually have... A lot of senators in the chat. Make yourself heard, guys. Where are all the senators hiding? You're getting over flooded by new Battlefront players. Uh, but yeah, let's get in there. We got five, five different. Uh, we got basically four different modes, five different maps. Let's get in there. Um, uh, you can choose windowed, though. Yes, there was an option to choose chose windowed. Um, uh, Switch up made a video on the Switch version. It runs at flawless 60 FPS. Awesome. I mean, honestly. Like, I'm going to say, just the short version is, the performance in this game has been unpeckable for me, impeccable for me, for everything except for multiplayer. Everything when it comes to campaign, Battlefront 1, Battlefront 2, Galactic Conquest, Excel mode with fucking 128 bots. My FPS is like, I don't know, insane. It, it's so high that my graphic card starts coil whining, which it does when the graphics, uh, uh, when you're getting too high FPS. Um, so yes, performance has been great, it's just the multiplayer that has some issues, but let's, uh, okay, so many questions, uh, blah, blah. Steam DB, the game got updated 12 hours ago, do you think the multiplayer is already fixed? We could try later, uh, we'll see, uh, but let's get in here, you guys, with 40 minutes into the stream that we haven't played, I kind of tempted to, uh, to swap to, um, uh, now, Oh yeah, good, it shows up. You can see in the top left corner, you can see the FPS. Why, wait, why is it capped 144? I had like 700 when I played last time. Weird. Um, I'm gonna spawn here just so I can show you guys. Uh, I mean, I don't need, just to be clear, I don't need more than 144 FPS. So that could mean that they've actually done something to cap the FPS and maybe fix the multiplayer. Because right now I'm sitting at 150 FPS. I mean, I mean that's a sweet spot. Just to be clear, you don't need more than 150 FPS since my monitor runs at 144 Hz. But it said 700 FPS when I was testing before. So, uh... This bastard is shooting me right away. Um, this is the XL mode. 60 something, 60... I guess 64 bots on each side. Uh, which is why it's like a crazy amount there. Uh, okay, we got some spammers in the chat. Fucking hell, let me... Uh, hide user on this channel, there we go. I'm not used to this many viewers. Normally I don't have to do a uh, spam check. Maybe I need to add some new mods. <laughs> I have disabled music for copyright, yes. That's why I know it's gonna sound a little bit boring sometimes. All the original music is still in the game. I just disable it for copyright reasons. I don't want the stream to get taken down or anything like that, so... That's why. Uh, oops, teammates. Let's see if I can show you guys some of the medals as well. Uh, unfortunately, I have not 
unlocked I have unlocked some of the those of you who know again I got a tips and tricks video coming up uh, after this stream that will explain more but basically there are kill streaks you can unlock with each class uh, but the first three times you get the kill streak you don't get the bonus you need to get a rank within that medal uh, so for instance oh that fucker is dangerous the Boston spy basically there is uh, if you get 12 blast rifle kills you will see that in one life I will get a medal um, shit um, so I'm gonna try to do that now really I got are you kidding me? I get fucking strafed round in by the AI. I didn't even remember that being a thing. That happens in EA's Battlefront 2, and now I get strafed round the first thing that happens in this game too. That is just ridiculous. I honestly don't even remember that being possible, to be honest. Um, uh, Battlefront 1 has never had playable heroes, no. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I can change the, the difficulty of, of the AI. Yes right here but i'm not gonna increase it because i think normal is uh, good enough for me um yeah let's get into, into the 8080 but i want to show i want to get again this medal the, the most overpowered thing you can unlock in the game is the as upgraded assault rifle you need 12 kills in one life but since i this is like a fresh game i don't have that unlocked yet so i need to get 12 kills with a blaster rifle in one life three times and then i can start actually unlocking that uh, let's see if I can do it now without dying, and then I can get into the 8080. This AI are just standing here. Um, have you tested out all the classes? I just started started uh, play. I mean, yes, I've tested out all the classes w in my early access uh, period when I um, uh, 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 yeah, when I was making my review. So, but I haven't done it on the stream yet. Now why? Fucking hell, stop shooting me. Oh, okay, we can play as Darth Vader, whatever. I, I fucked up the medal. Now you get some hero gameplay instead, so let's do it. The hero, the AI is incredibly stupid, though, when it comes to the 8080s. Are you seeing what these guys are doing? Like, why does the AI in this game do this? It's not It's not just this release. It's, re it's the same thing in the original. When I was filming my tips and tricks video in the old version, Fucking AI turns the 8080s around. It's so stupid. I don't know why they do it. it it's so weird. Uh, but yeah, let's go, guys. We, we got some Excel mode Darth Vader action. Um, let's just slaughter some. Uh, see how long I can survive. Alright. Fuck. Oh, the button spies are so deadly. They deal. So much damage, and they can go invisible too. Can we see if I can get some ch like sick uh, lightsaber throw kills here? Since there's so many AI. Uh, 80 80 mating se session indeed. Uh, Alright, let's see if we can actually cap a base. I mean, capping a base in Excel mode must be really hard. Oh, I just killed a teammate, whatever. Uh, oh my god. There's so much. I, I'm. I, there's. Oh no! The fucking Bolton spy is just slaughtering me. There's too much people here. I'm gonna die. Like, I. I it's just too much people. Uh. Let, let's. Why is this? Look at this AI. It's so. It's so. Uh, it's so weird. I think these Excel matches. You can obviously bump up. I think you can bump up the play count because now it's already like all the game is almost over and no one has captured a command post because there's too many players right now. Um. Uh, um, but yeah, let's. Uh, I really want to try to unlock these medals so I can show you guys later in the stream at least. But so if I at least get it once uh, in one game, that's a progress, you know. Let's see, two kills. Let's see if I can get twelve. Oops, misclick. Let's see if I can get. Uh... Man, the blasters are so inaccurate on long range. It's crazy. Oops, fuck, wrong button. There's the button I'm looking for. Die! There we go. Oh shit! I'm surprised I didn't die from this guy. Let's see here. There we go. Like, yeah, the AI is just it's just dumb. Uh. Uh. Let's see. Let's... 
Can I just get this medal already? I should be pretty close now. I don't know how many kills I've gotten. Uh, oh god, I'm almost dead. Give me some help. Where are all the medics at? I'm gonna skip Vader for now. Uh, I was first place nationwide every week and month in my tie interceptor. Clone Cam and Lancer, thank you guys very much for the super chat. Appreciate it. Uh, very much. BF2 AI has no brain fun to see people. Yeah, it, it, it's dead. It's stupid. It's it, The AI is really stupid. I mean, I feel like if you increase it to elite difficulty, all that happens is that they just kill you faster, but they don't really become smart, smarter. Um, I think there's no leaderboards. I, I don't think so. I haven't seen any. I, don't, I haven't even seen leaderboards in uh, the, the classic Battlefront. Okay, we lost the game already. Damn, that was so quick. I didn't even have time to... Uh, um, I didn't even have time to freaking uh, get the medal. So, uh, awards, uh, did I get any awards at all? I got Dead Eye, whatever that means, I actually don't know. These awards aren't really important. The important ones are the next ones, which I think is... Yeah, here's the medals, like if you actually unlock the medals, but the game just ended so quickly. Uh, what was the other map where you could play XL? Uh, Geonosis and Kashyyyk. Uh, let's see, I don't even remember. I think we picked... Did we pick Ranvar as the next one? Um, no, Polis Massa. Yes, Heroes versus Villains and Polis Massa. Let's do it. So let's get the new ones. Uh, why is the, the game just froze? Please don't lag. Uh, let's get some Kit Fist. Wait, did they just... Man, they spread out the command points really interestingly. No, shut up! I don't want to get a copyright claim. Fucking hell. I'm going to have to... Okay, uh, I noticed this bug, uh, but when I, I should have probably looked into it more. Uh, basically, for some reason, they fucking play the Cantina song for one minute whenever the, the game starts. And uh, it ends after a minute, and then it's fine. But every time you play like a Hero Assault game, it just glitches out and play this, even if you've disabled the music. It's, it's so weird. Uh... Come on, I'm just trying to make this stuff stop, stop, and then we can start playing, actually. Um, I should probably bind... I swear I had, like, a binding for my... Oh, wait, Stream Deck. Oh, it's this Stream Deck, probably. Uh, it's going to take too long to fix that now. Uh, wait, you've had it a whole match? If I... Okay, now the music is over, so we're all good to go. Um, let's go. Wait, did it? Oh wait, I think I. Oh shit, never mind. I should. I disable this one too. I should. This might be too loud. Just let me know what what the vo if the volume is good enough now. Here we go. Oh yeah, now my FPS is sitting at seven hundred, as you can see. That's what I mean. The game is running very smoothly. Honestly, this ability is so much fun. The four force orb. I never played the Xbox DLC as a kid, so this is kind of all new for me, and it's really... There's there's uh, Ventress for you, I just almost one-shot her, so let's... Uh... Oh, and, and he has like sick animations, he both has this one, like the spin thingy, and then he also has a slam, like Mace Window, let's see if I can do that. Oh wait, let's... Let's... BAM! And again, BAM! And again, BAM! I just slaughter all three of them. Easy. Can we actually capture command posts? No, you actually you can't do that in Heroes vs. Villains. It's all, it's all about killing in Heroes vs. Villains. Oh, taste that, Vader. Oh shit, I died quickly. Uh, so these games are going to be a bit longer, uh, the, the Hero Assault games, as you can see, since you obviously need to get 180 kills. Oh wait, you can actually reflect that? Oh my god, I just got I just got completely played by the Dooku AI. He def deflected the force orb and then killed me. Interesting. Uh, is it possible to play this game without knowing anything about Star Wars? I mean, yeah. I mean, it it could just like yeah, play it like any other shooter. Um, I would say. 
And damn, stop deflecting my. Ah! Fucking hell, this AI just. Hello there. Look at those views, eyes, eyes. Marcus, thank you very much for the 67 months in the Senate. That's an absolutely legendary amount of time. And yes, I'm so happy to see so many people watching today. Appreciate you all. There must be a lot of new people here who just found my channel. Welcome to the channel in that case. Um, okay, I'm getting completely screwed. I, I've noticed that I'm way better with Blaster Heroes. Especially, I think it was Leia I played really well with when I was... Uh, Testing out, because her blaster is just sick. Let's see her. Chuck some nades down here on this. Oh yeah, I just wrecked Palpatine. Oh, there's another Palpatine. Palpatine times two, wrecked. Uh... Well, like the title says, I have early access. That's why I'm playing right now. Um, the only platforms it's been released now is like Xbox in Australia and... Did I just accidentally kill Django? In Australia and New Zealand. PC is not out yet, PlayStation is not out yet, and most of the world is not out in Xbox either. Man, Ventress. Damn, this... I mean, you guys see what I'm saying here. Ah! Uh, damn. Like, yeah, Leia is freaking... Like, look how... Look at that damage, guys! Look at that damage. If I can get a full burst in the head... <laughs> oh, shit. Palpy. Oh, and Anakin. My son. No, wait, my father, sorry. <laughs> Wrong. Wrong uh, family order. Oh my god. I'm almost dead. Wait. Oh, well, that was a good run, though. Um, let's try. Uh, some. Uh, Han Solo is pretty good, too, I remember. Not as good as an EA's Battlefront 2, though, but, but still good. Yeah, these matches are going to be quite long. I don't want to, like, like, yeah, that, that's that's something you got to, like, tweak in the settings. Because now the XL matches took, like, what, 10 minutes? And this one's probably going to take way longer. We're, still, we're 40 to 180, though, so we're not too far off, but uh, still. Uh, there's there's a medal system. Not a level system, but a medal system. Uh, I will, uh, I, basically, you can get various medals, like... Uh, Get X amount of points in one life, get uh, 12 kills with a blaster rifle in one life, which unlocks a medal uh, that you can then get ranks within, depending on how many times you get that medal. And uh, you also get bonuses for that, like if you've unlocked it three, if you've gotten the medal three times, you get a really cool kill streak. If you've gotten it 32 times, you get the kill streak 25% faster. And if you've gotten the medal 64 times, you actually get the ma uh, the upgrade permanently which is very overpowered like you can basically spawn in with a broken ass blaster uh, every time is this ai upscaled i've heard people say that but i'm honestly i'm not knowledgeable enough to like judge that uh, let's see wait i've kind of forgotten what oh yeah yes the defense increase it's quite empty should we go to another oh shit i've got the fusion cutter on that's not a good idea all right, uh, should we, let, let's see, we run, maybe run this direction, see if we find someone. Oh shit, there's Grievous. Not anymore. Four hours until release on Global, is it? All right, good to know. Oh shit. We got the death packs, let's see if I can blow, oh my god, blow them up! Okay, Holy shit, I just blew all three of them up. By your side. Again, blow them up! Oh! Oh my god, blow them up, come on! Oh, get closer, I dare you. Okay, yo. Fuck! Help me! No, that's Dooku. Come on, get closer. And boom! Oh, Vader! Oh, they got me. But that was a good a good run, though. I mean, how many kills did I get there without dying? I, it's pretty hard to get medals in Heroes vs. Villains, because obviously, there's none of the weapons specific... Wait, this my... Can I still blow this up? Oh, no, never mind. Uh, the, the class specific ones you can't get here, obviously. But I should be able to get the one where you need 12 points in one life. If I get 12 kills. Um, oh shit. Yeah, yeah, come on. Boom! And dead. So easy with the death packs. AI just runs straight into them. Same thing with mines. Yeah, Han Solo's voice is really deep in this game. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, yeah, once the multiplayer is up and everything, like tomorrow, hopefully, uh, if I stream, you guys can. I can literally make a server and you can all join. I can make a 64 player server with whatever we want and you guys can hop on. Um, 
But today, obviously, multiplayer won't be the focus since I've got early access. Oh my god, there's too many of them. Did they just kill each other? I think that Palpatine is team killed. Uh, Alright. Stop blocking. Can't do anything about that? He's just standing there blocking, are you kidding me? He should have he should have a uh, okay. Not unlimited stamina. Go, there go, we go, go, he's dead. What voice was that? Was that Han Solo's voice? That sounded so weird. Uh, 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 all good so far, 100% Star Wars, no crashes or anything. I haven't tried to multiplayer yet though, because it's, it's empty, obviously. Um, but everything else, I mean, look at my FPS in the top left corner. I've got 800 FPS right now. Was that Obi-Wan? That was such a weird voice. Uh, okay, let's see if someone can actually kill me so I can... Oh shit, there comes Dooku. So I can try another hero. What the hell is Grievous doing? Unlimited stamina bug is not fixed. I wish you can still force choke someone for all eternity. Oh, there we go. Now I got the award. Let's check the top left corner. Award energy regen. That's because I got 12 kills in one life. Uh, it means I should be able to sprint more, basically. Since I'm, it regenerates faster. I haven't been able to test it on split screen because I... Oh my god, there's too many of them. Get the bombs out. Wait, why can't... Oh my god. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> let's uh, get another spawn point and let's get... Uh, who do you guys want to see? I, do I remember? Yeah, let's go Mace Window. He has a nice little slam. Good for AoE damage. How is the inversion for the flying ship? It pushed down to go up. Yes, exactly. So it's inverted. I hate it. But in Battlefront 2 you can actually fix it. In Battlefront 1 you can't. Ooh, I just pulled an Anakin on Dooku right there. Decapitate him. Yeah, the AI rarely uses... It, it, the AI seems to only use Force Lightning, which is... Kind of stupid, but... They haven't really changed anything with the AI. Follow me. How's it going, Tim? Everything is good so far? Let's see here. Oops. Yeah, you're right, the lightsabers do actually look a little bit weird here on the on the screen. I'm not sure if that's... They look they look normal in-game to me. I remember Isla Secure is pretty good because you can just force pull and kill. Okay, I guess we just did it together. Double... Oh, shit. The fuck is Palpatine doing? There we go, force pull and kill. And, I mean, this is why I'm going to turn off team damage if I do an online server. Otherwise, it's going to be so much team killing. It's going to be insane. Force pull and kill. Let's see if there's any force pull. Yeah, look at that. Oh, I'm bullying Maul. <laughs> Alright, but we're at 109 kills though, so we're getting pretty close to uh we're, we're getting closer to the goal. Favorite hero assault map so far. Hello there, by the way, the Pitsy. Good to see you, man. Uh oh shit. I'm not really sure. I think this one was a bit too empty. The most Eisler one is still better. The Death Star was really bad. The Nab Naboo map was pretty good. So, uh, uh, might say Naboo. Um... Uh, is this the, still the press build? I mean, yeah, but I'm not sure if they're gonna have... Oh my god, that just got killed almost instantly. I don't know if there's gonna be any update to the build that is... Uh... The, the one that I'm running, to be honest, because... Uh... Oh, Jesus Christ, this guy's fucking spawn killing us. Oh my god! Uh, because the game pretty much releases in a couple of hours, so uh, yeah. How is it gonna be decided who gets the hero in multiplayer? I think it's just as the classic. Uh, the one who gets X amount of points first becomes the... Uh, the gets the option to become the hero. Um, basically. Hero battle on the Death Star, that's the one I didn't like very much, because it was... Uh, the AI was kind of bad, to be honest. I was really hoping to be able to like, push people down, but... I could, but the AI was just kind of standing there. Oh my god. 
these are AI. The, the multiplayer isn't online yet. Or uh, Basically, this is early access, so there's no one to play with. The servers are empty. Um, I feel like we've tried most of them right now, right? Will there be 64 players in Hero Assault online? Yes, I'm pretty sure there will be. I didn't see any cap on that. Um, since you do choose the cap on the actual server and you can put 64, so I think there's going to be... Because this is supposed to be right now. Actually, I don't know if I... Maybe I forgot to tweak that in the settings, but... Yeah, it should be possible to do 32 on 32 heroes. And no, there's no in-game voice chat. I don't think the Battlefront games have ever had that. Ooh, I like that spinning, uh, like, spinning maneuver. Oops, I just... Ouch. Remember how dangerous Yoda is on Dagobah when he's underwater. In the OG game, you can, can't shoot into the water. I, damn, I didn't even remember that. But that's OP. Uh, uh, yes, it's very easy to transition from the games. They are two separate games, but you can go back to kind of the launcher or to like the main menu. And you, then you have both games to pick from. So you don't have to exit, like shut down the game and go to Steam and boot it up. So it's pretty nice that it's just one launcher in my opinion. I mean, you guys can... Wait, we haven't tried Chewie yet. But yeah, you guys can see how much better I am at, like... Wait, I think you, if I remember correctly, you can... Yeah, you can charge it up and shoot shoot one bolt, which is quite powerful. I'm not sure how powerful. That's actually not that powerful. That's, like, 25% damage. Maybe if I headshot. Okay, I'm just gonna go YOLO here, and uh, I might kill a bunch of teammates, but... Uh, time bombs are always one of my favorite things to do. Boom! I think I... Yep, I got one kill. Oh, come on! Okay. Just drop some time bombs and run around, basically. And hope that you lure anyone. Oh yeah, we just killed the Emperor with a time bomb, because he was too stupid to move away from it. Um... Uh, Joey, I think everything is good if you want, just want the... If you just want the, the, the classic Battlefront experience, you're gonna love this game. The multiplayer is where I see the issues being at. Because the testing me and 100% Star Wars did was... Um, uh, yeah, it was rough. It was rough, to say the least. Oh shit, I'm gonna... Okay, I just got killed. So, uh, but I don't know. Have people complained about other stuff in the reviews? Because that was the main thing I complained about. Uh, some of the controls for the space battles or the, the ships not being possible to alter. And... Uh, uh, the multiplayer. Other than that, I'm happy with uh, the release. Uh, I'm available for a few minutes if you want to show people the online lag. Uh, yeah, you, you guys remember what we put in here, right? For instant action. So let's show... You, I'm gonna show you guys how the multiplayer works and why it is a big issue. Um, we can just set up this again. I think we remember what, what we had Renvar... We had Renvar as... Actually, I should probably have finished the game, because now I lost the progress from that game with the medal I got, but whatever. Um, Ren, let's, we can just add it back. Renvar Hunt, and we play, I think it was Excel something else. Excel, whatever. Uh, yes, we hit, we hit 200k subscribers today. Can you have a go with Chewie's controllable rocket? Oh shit, I forgot, I missed that, sorry. Uh, but yeah, let's test the multiplayer. You guys are going to see how laggy it is. Um... The thing is, I think if we were to join the, if you were to join these servers, the uh, the Aspire servers, it probably wouldn't be laggy. But 100% Star Wars, feel free to set up a server of your choice, and we will see if they have magically fixed the lag or if it's gonna be, uh, yeah, messed up um, or not. Do you think? the online lag will be something they can fix or will fix. I think so, because I had a few games where it was not lagging, and also when I joined the official Aspire servers, it was not lagging, and in Battlefront 1, it was not lagging. So they obviously can sort it out, um, but yeah. Um... <laughs> Thank you very much, Joey and Sweatbox, for the two dollar <laughs> super chats, my friends. Appreciate it. Um, cereal before milk, always. No, no, no. I actually had some milk and cereal yesterday, and I, I, I thought of you, Joey. I was like, 
I gotta put the cereal, no, sorry, the milk in first. I almost said something bad there. Try invert Y axis in Steam input and for soldiers. Does, can you do that in Steam input and choose it only for ships? That's a problem. I thought if I invert the entire thing, it's going to mess everything up. But can I specifically go just for Starfighters and invert it? Um, but yeah, okay. So 100% Star Wars has a server up and running here. I really pray that they've fixed the issues we had when we filmed our reviews. But let's see. It was... You guys saw my FPS. I was anywhere between 150 and 700. Oh, 900. Have they fixed it? Maybe. Let's see. Auto assign. Wait, 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 wait. What have they? It actually does feel laggy when I move the mouse around, though. But let's see if that's just a. Let's see if this works. Huh. Mm -mm -mm. Wait, this actually feels smooth. Okay, we're going to have to do some more testing. And the problem was also that when you were the host. You were lagging like crazy, but this is butter smooth. This is, uh, I mean, this is 700 FPS. There's nothing to complain about. Uh, and this is multiplayer. Let's see if I can hit 100% uh, Star Wars here. I don't, the, the question is if he is lagging or not. Because if he's lagging, the issue is still there. Uh, I'm still lagging like crazy. Okay, so I guess they haven't fixed it. Fucking hell. Um, I, just to show you the difference, I could, uh, yeah, we could try the hit registration a little bit. Maybe, uh, let's see if I can get, uh, yeah, if I can try, to, you can just run around and I can try to, it's kind of hard to, okay, yeah. <laughs> That's hard to hit even if the hit registration is on, but I'm gonna see if I can, let's just kill Yoda first. But yeah, let's, I mean... Actually, yeah, try just jumping up and down or something. Okay, that hit registration seems kind of whack, didn't it? It seemed like I was kind of shooting through him. Uh, hmm. It doesn't feel necessarily that smooth, to be honest. Hmm. 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 -mm. Let's see if I can find him so we can have a lightsaber duel. Where is he hiding? Do, do, do. Is that? Oh, there he is. Let's just see how the hit registration is if we. Kit Fisto versus Asage. Oh, wow. He just. Fuck Wait, I didn't even see that orb. What the hell? He just threw that orb on me, but there was no, like, animation for it. Is this hit registration completely off, or what the fuck is going on? Okay, this is laggy as hell. What on earth is going on? Like, I didn't even see him attack me and I died. What the fuck? Uh... A new donation to Battlefront updates. Uh, thank you very much, cool kid, for the $2 super chat. Uh, the game is not out yet. This is uh, early access. But yeah, this feels really laggy in terms of like not only the FPS. The FPS seems to be fine, but the, the like the server seems to be ass. Thank you very much, who plans bass be, uh, boys for the twenty crowns milk before a boy powder. That that's true though. Yeah, you always gotta put the milk before the boy powder. Otherwise, you get lumps in the bottom of the glass. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, 10 out of 10 review. Thank you very much. I'm glad you liked it. But I, I feel like... Wait, can we just... Uh, wait, can we just... Uh, okay, so just do your charge at me and hit me as fa fast as you... Okay, I guess he fell down. Wait, what? Because it seems so laggy. Wait, I'm gonna see if this glitch still works, but I can force choke him into oblivion. Wait. Yeah, look at this. He can't do anything. They, they haven't fixed that glitch. You basically have unlimited force choke. Now I got killed by Luke, but like, it's so OP. Uh, so they basically don't seem to have adjusted much at all. Do online matches fill up with bots when it's not full? Yes, you can actually remove that if you want to, but yes, they do fill up. So right now, it's only me and 100% Star Wars here, as you can see. Uh, the rest is, is AI. A new donation to Battlefront updates. 
Thank you very much, Clone Cam. I remember the FPS was a setting in the older games when hosting. Uh, wait, you can actually check that. Um, I'll check out those settings just to show you guys the lag. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna host a server just to show you how laggy it is if you're host and why it's unplayable. I thought actually that was too laggy to honestly have fun, but. Uh, yeah, it, it that seemed really laggy, but but yeah, uh, let's see if, if I create a server. I don't remember there being any setting for FPS here. I think these are just to say host. This is like, I remember I scrolled through this. There's nothing for FPS here. It's just like, yeah, you can be a dedicated host if you want to. And, and yeah, uh, the, the multiplayer servers are just are just not good, unfortunately. If you invert everything in Steam input and then soldiers in the game, but can you... What? No, that doesn't make sense. Why would that fix the flying specifically? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, this is... Yeah. Um, let's just start up a game so you guys can see how laggy this is. Let's just go with anything, really. Just for the sake of, of, of the comparison, I'll just go Camino again. And you guys can see... Uh, like the difference i mean that was laggy in terms of the rubber banding and like the hit registration but now it's going to be laggy down to the fps look at the fucking difference i had 700 fps the last game right now i have 30. it's ass it's just ass really ass fire uh i mean look look at this Fucking look at this lag! This is like we're playing in 1994 or something. I, I, I bet Battlefront ran smoother on my old Xbox than this is. I don't know how noticeable it is on a stream, to be completely honest, but you can obviously see the FPS counter in the top left corner. It was sitting at 700 when I was not hosting the game, but now that I'm hosting the game, imagine playing with 29 FPS and have her having the rubber... What? I... <laughs> I don't even know what just happened. Did I just what, did I just die from nothing? Uh, so, but yeah, from what from what I from what I've heard, the hit registration and the like servers being laggy in terms of like seeing enemies that seems to always have been a thing on Battlefront. But the FPS thing is probably worse. So instead of improving or at least having equal multiplayer, it's worse. Because I mean, I I cannot play a shooter like this. It's like playing a PowerPoint presentation. Like that's, I'm, you might think I'm exaggerating. Actually, it kind of looks smoother on, on the stream because obviously the stream is only it's 60 FPS, but still, it, this is just ah it pisses me off. How's the how is it for you now? Uh, how is that for you, 100% Star Wars? Is it lagging for you now, or is it fine now that you're not the host? I've got a blaster with your name on it. I think this is worse than 30 FPS. Even though it says 30 FPS, it's probably worse. Because, I mean, yeah, I've played 30 FPS games on, like, consoles, and it's uh, it's better than host, but still rough. I mean, yeah, you, saw the, you guys saw the difference between when I was not hosting and when I'm hosting. And keep in mind that a lot of times, I mean, yeah, this is just... I'm gonna be completely honest. If the multiplayer is this laggy, what, hello there, hand. I am probably not gonna play any multiplayer role. I'm just gonna play Excel battles. I'm gonna play the campaign, and I'm just not gonna play multiplayer. I might set up a server tomorrow just to get 64 of you in there and have an absolute fuck fest of lag. Um, but this is just, yeah, it's just bad. It's it's basically like they they did no effort in improving the. I'm gonna see if I can actually... I mean, yeah, I killed him, so it's still possible, but... <laughs> it's two kinds of lag. Low FPS and laggy servers. When you're hosting, you have both. If you don't host, sometimes it will only be one of them. They lowered the FPS so we can be more nostalgic. Man, I hope not. Thank you very much for the super chat, man. I uh, appreciate all your support. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna wait this out. Because if everyone has this poor of an experience online... Actually, can we try something? Let's try something. Because this is just the custom servers. 
Let's try joining one of... Uh, that's something we didn't do during, when, during the re review period. We never try joining Aspire servers together. Let's see if that's any better. I think it's going to fix the FPS, FPS issue, but I don't think it's going to fix the poor, poor hitbox or the poor... Uh, so let's try uh, joining one of Aspire servers instead and see if that's any better. Let's just go. Do they have a hero assault? Hero Assault Death Star. Uh, actually, hero, let's go Hero Assault Geonosis. It's a good and open map. So let's join that, both of us, and see if at least the FPS is, issue is fixed. If Honestly, if the the hitboxes and stuff, or the... Wait, are you kidding me? Am I F, Is my FPS actually... Wait, what? My FPS is 60. Wait, this is weird. No, it's 30. Sick. So my FPS is a little bit better? I'm confused. I mean, this is fine. This is the first time. It kind of makes it feel like maybe there is actually a cap on FPS on the servers, but when it's the Aspire servers, it's 60. And this is fine. Like, I don't, I mean, sure, I would like to have 144, but if it feels like this, I'm completely fine with it. The question now is, how is the hit registration on these servers? Because we can always... I mean, yes, we're saying that multiplayer is broken, whatever, but if you play on these servers that Aspire has set up, um, and it works, if it works, you'll be fine, obviously. Uh, A new donation to Battlefront update. Well, let's see. I'm, let's, I'm gonna try to... Wait, is he in the game? Yeah, he's in the game. I'm gonna see if I can find him and see how... Yeah, there he is. Let's just see if I try to hit him a little bit when he's running around here. Uh, uh, hard to judge from that, to be honest. But let's... Uh, just, just can, can you just, like, run... I don't know if... I'm assuming you're listening right now, but just... Just basically run towards me and kill, like, enemies around me. So I can get some chances to shoot at you. And we'll see how the hit registration is. Because I'm assuming the hit registration on, on la the AI will probably be fine. Uh, let's see if I can find some... Oops, I didn't mean to put that out. Uh, where's all the villains at, though? I can't find any. Yeah, I don't think... I mean, refunding... I mean, again, all the offline content, which is basically everything I played as a kid, is working completely fine. So I would definitely not refund it. And again, if these servers are fine, uh, we'll see. I'm just trying to... Uh, yeah, PC has split screen, yes. I'm trying to find him so we can... Fucking Geonosians are so annoying on this map. I mean, it's obviously not as smooth as playing off... There, there he is. Okay, let's see if I can... That's, there, that's a hit, okay. That was a bad shot. That was a bad shot. I'm just gonna try to do bursts. That, I think, should have hit. That should have hit. Okay, I did get some... That was a block, so that's fine. Yeah, it doesn't... Like, I mean, like, those hits... Okay, I got a little bit of hits there. It... Yeah, I don't know. It, it kind of looks like the shots here is going straight through him, to be complete, completely honest. Like... I'm trying to lead my shots and nothing happens. Yeah, the, the multiplayer server seems to be... Yeah, I don't know. Thank you very much, Elliot, for the 20 Swedish crowns. Appreciate it very much, my friend. And uh, you have a very nice name, I gotta say. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm honestly not really excited for multiplayer. Because it's like... It just isn't working very well. Yeah, let's try the guided rocket. Sure. Uh, I think yeah, I remember that you can speed up his rocket or make it stronger or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but I think that w that's how the servers were originally, because I saw a lot of people saying, oh, are the servers still bad? Are the servers... Wait, mine is still shopping in the server. Much better, though. Yeah, it seems like it's capped to 60 here. It's definitely not as smooth as playing offline, but in terms of FPS, I I'm fine with this. Completely fine. Oops, that's the wrong button. Let's see, you can slow down, and you can speed up, I think. Oh yeah, you can actually speed up a lot. Oh man, that's like a... Alright, let's see if I can actually hit someone like this, though. There's someone, let's go. Oh, oh my god, I don't remember the explosion being that big. Can we just... 
Mm, boom! Holy, did he die? I died! Damn! It's like freaking uh, nuke or something. Wait, let's see. Oh my god, this thing is OP. Wait, kill, come to the hill part. Okay, I think this is probably... Mm, it was... It was... He was standing still and it still didn't register. Oh my god. I mean, I'm gonna save down that clip. That, I mean, you, you guys just, just confirm that my eyes aren't deceiving me. But he was standing still and you could literally see my rocket clipping through him, right? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, the, the server seems to be really bad. And like... Yeah, look at that, look at that. Keep keep jumping, it's good. Easy way to test. Uh, keep jumping and don't block. And we'll see... Oh, fucking hell. I mean, I can still see multiplayer being fun in the way that... You and your friend can team up and play ag against 32 bots. That seems to work just fine. The problem is... If you want to start, if you want to start like PvPing or actually like multiplayer against people, the hit registration is just so whack. It's unbelievable to be honest. Uh, let's see if I can get up here again to to hundred percent. There he is. Yeah. Oh my god! Stop coming after me! Oh, I didn't mean to. Shoot the rocket right there. I want to see if the if it. Because it seems like the hit registration is fine against AI, but not against players. To be honest. Uh -uh. Yeah, where did he go? Just trying to... Uh, I don't think the servers are going to be fixed, because if this hit registration stuff was an issue in the original games, they're probably just going to be like, oh, this was all, always an issue, we're not going to fix it, it seems like. Um, the FPS stuff, I don't know, it's weird how it... So, yeah, let's just try here, see if we can get some good examples. If he just jumps a little bit... And I can try to shoot when it should hit. Okay, that was a deflect, so that that's... That, if you're standing still, it seems to work. Let's see here. That did actually hit, so... Okay, yeah, just, yeah, just try jumping all the time. And I'm gonna try to shoot you at the top. Went straight through her. Absolutely straight through her. Let's see, try again. Okay, that actually hit. That should have hit. Easy. Oh, fucking... Wait, there's no team damage on these servers? Oh, I guess Aspire probably turned it off. Uh... They promised to fix it, and they didn't. I don't think they've said anything about it, to be fair. The servers are basically just as bad as they have always been. That's the way it is, unfortunately. So like, yeah, I know bullets take time, but you can actively see that the shots go straight through. I mean... Okay, let's go first person, it's easier to see. Uh, oh fuck, here it comes. Come on. Ah, oh, stop blocking me, you fucker! Come on. Okay. My god, it's so slow to kill them. I don't like Chewy. Why are they all coming here now all of a sudden? Can I just do this? Boom. Insta. Boom. Dead. Boom. 
Man, they're all coming after me, so we can't do testing. But you guys, I don't know. I don't know exactly how the servers were before, but it definitely feels really hard to, like... It feels like it's impossible to hit p at least players. Even the AI, it kind of feels like the hitbox is a little bit off, but... These servers were better, but it's so weird. Like, these servers seem to be capped to 60 FPS. Let's actually try this. Uh, uh, let's, let's try the rocket thing again. If he stands completely still... And I do a full speed uh, on him. Let's see. St stand completely still if you can now before I die from. Uh, and I'm going to try to go straight through with the rocket and see if the same thing happens. Okay, that time it actually worked. Okay, <laughs> match was over. Um, but yeah, it clipped through the last time. So I, I don't know what to think. It kind of feels like the multiplayer is just not going to be very enjoyable. Uh... Because, like, I don't know, it's such a night and day. I feel like all the hitboxes and everything is great when you play offline. Nothing can stop the Empire. Yeah, I don't know why it's locked to 60 FPS, but I think maybe that's something with the servers being old or I don't fucking know. And it seems to be 30 FPS when you're hosting yourself. So it's. I'm looking forward to everyone getting their hands on this tomorrow and basically, like. <laughs> really digging into it and doing it. people who are more knowledgeable in how it comes with servers because if you look away from the multiplayer part it's really a like great and smooth experience screen mode maybe the hitboxes are just really bad i doubt it too uh thank you cool kid for the five dollar super chat appreciate it uh you should try and do this in split screen mode maybe the hitboxes well i don't have two controllers or anyone else who can play um uh, but I mean, again, if you do it against, yeah, uh, the hitboxes can't be that bad considering it works really well uh, against AI, I think. Oh yeah, there's, uh, okay, so let's, uh, how do we test this best? How do we test it? Like, so if you just runs like that, okay, that actually did hit, so. Fucking. I don't know how to best test it, but it just feels like when he's running around and like right there, there's no way that wouldn't hit. Like right there, this is a fucking laser beam. This is not even a delayed, and it's still not hitting properly. Like right, you can literally see it go through. Like it's it's not good to be honest. It really isn't. Whereas if I sh let's see if I can try and hit the AI instead. Well, he's standing too still. But let's see. If Man, I hate how it overheats so quickly. Jesus Christ! Suppose already. Okay, he's actually standing at the health box, but that's why he's <laughs> slow to kill. I don't know what on earth this Palpatine is doing. For some reason, I can't hit him in the head. Like... Like, what the fuck is this hitbox? Right here. What is that hitbox? Look, nothing's hit- nothing's happening. What the fuck is this shit? Now it worked! It just took like 20 shots. I'm not sure if that was like, uh... But yeah, the hitboxes are just... I don't know. Man, I don't know what to think of the multiplayer. The multiplayer just seems to be... Have so many different issues. FPS caps. Uh, it, it, lag hitboxes delay. Like, I don't freaking know, man. It's definitely nothing in my launch options, because if I play this offline, I get 700 FPS. So this has to do with the servers. I like this teamwork, though. Wait. <laughs> He's just floating around now. What the hell? Guys, this game is worth it just for the offline content. Yeah, I mean, someone said... Who pays $30 for only single-play content? Well, 
I paid $60, actually $120 if you count two games when I was a kid. And I only played offline. And I played it for hundreds, if not thousands of hours. So, yeah, the servers are not in an okay state right now. But I would buy it just for the single player. Because these kind of games, honestly, I enjoy more playing against AI anyways. Um, but yeah. Exactly, I'll be getting it for instant action too. Is it only on heroes versus villains? Uh, no, 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 it's the same on... Uh... We could try some... Uh, let's try joining one of the other official uh, servers. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course, you can all... You can, actually, I think you can maybe only get the achievements through offline. I mean, I've gotten a bunch of achievements already. Complaining about bugs that existed in the original game and are likely deep within the functionality of the engine, not a reason to refund. I have to agree with you, like the servers having been really poor with the hitbox and stuff has always been an issue. So they didn't advertise something like improved multiplayer. All they said was, okay, we bumped it up to 64 players. The FPS locking in your custom servers, that I'm not okay with. But I'm disappointed. I can't say I'm not disappointed that they haven't improved the servers, but I guess all they've done is just taken 20 or old tech and revived it. They haven't improved it at all. Laxar, how's it going? 200k indeed. This is the PC version indeed. Uh, I'm curious to see how this is gonna how is it gonna be on consoles, the servers, and th things like that. But yeah, let's get in let's try some conquest on Dagoba here and see how this online server works. Have you tried multiplayer without AI units? And uh, no, not really. Uh, uh, no, there's never been any party system in uh, in Battlefront. You just have to join the same server, basically. So yeah, it seems to be locked to 60 FPS for some reason on the official servers and like 30 FPS or lower on the custom servers, which is weird. Wow, I just got... I gotta wrist, watch those wrist rockets. Wait, why am I getting in like a... What the fuck? Did the server just crash? Oh my god. Uh, this is... I don't fucking know what just happened. These servers are just ass. Connection lost, host lost. Okay, lovely. I saved down a bunch of these clips so I can, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, the multiplayer doesn't seem to work very well. Again, I am gonna leave my final judgment of that until tomorrow, because at that point, they like everyone, the general public, gets access to this. And if it is this bad, I mean, there's going to be articles, there's going to be Reddit posts. Uh, so, yeah. Um, yeah. But again, it's like a lot of people reached out to me and said, have they fixed the multiplayer servers? Are they still as bad as before? And I guess the question is, yes, it's an issue that's always been there. And they didn't fix it, uh, unfortunately. Yeah, the first game's multiplayer actually... The FPS was good there, but I think that the hit registration is probably as wonky as always, because that's just the game, the way the game works. Uh, I have tried Battlefront 1. We, we could try, uh, if you're up for it. Uh, wait, what? Why can't I? 100% Star Wars. Let's see if we can... Sh uh, Refunding over server issues is childish when the game otherwise great offline content. Yeah, I kind of agree. The whole, oh, refund right away. It's like, oh, okay. If you only wanted to buy this single-handedly for, for custom multiplayer matches, then sure. 
refund it. You're all entitled to refund it if you want to. I know I'm going to have a shit ton of fun with this game, no matter what. Even if there will be parts I'm disappointed with. Uh, yeah, like... <laughs> Of course, you're allowed to refund it if you want to. But if you want to throw away hundreds of hours of fun because one part didn't work, be my guest. That's not your loss, not ours. Um... Uh... Oh, that's a copyright claim. Hope I clicked away fast enough. But yeah, let's see how the multiplayer works here. Uh, do we go online server? Or do we, let's do, just take one of the custom servers and now that's the fastest way, I guess. There's only three of them up right now. Maybe they, I hope they roll out more of these once the game is officially out. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's just join one of the servers. Let's go uh, best spin and see how... how Because again, I got like 700 FPS when I played this offline a couple of days ago. Uh, but anything above 60 is fine. I mean, if the, obviously this you got a capped online service. I'm not sure why I even got 700. It should be sitting at like 60 to 120 or something like that, to be honest. And they messed up the menu, the, the loading screen, as you might have known. Oh, please tell me this is not at 35. Okay, good. Now it's up at 150. So that's the weird thing. FPS-wise, it seems to be way better in Battlefront 1. Like, this is, this is smooth. I mean, this is... Wait. Under the, this is this is this is basically capped to what my refresh rate is, which is as high as a game should go. I'm just gonna lower this a little bit. Uh, so let's see how the hit registration is, because that's also a good sign. If it works in one game, they can definitely fix the other game. But uh, this is completely smooth. I mean, this is like I have no complaints. Hit hit registration on AI seems to work just fine. So let's. Uh, let's just see how it works against the uh, players. Uh, let's see if I can find him. It's weird, like, why would it... It makes no sense why I would be capped in Balcon 2, but not here. Something like that. Like... Oh, there he is. Let's see. Okay, that was pretty... Uh... Alright, so that, that was... Okay, that felt very smooth. That could just have been that particular kill, but... And the thing is, if they if, if it works on Battlefront 1, it would definitely give me hope that they can fix it in Battlefront 2. I mean, you guys are seeing the FPS is completely fine. The ping is completely fine. Let's just see how it feels to... Okay, yeah, there he, there he is again. I'm gonna see if I can... Okay, that kind of went through. That hit. Okay, it still has, the, like... These issues where the bolt go through a little bit... Honestly... I think it's just gonna be the part of how Classic Falcon works. If this was how the servers were, 144 FPS, uh, no stuttering or anything like that, and the hit registration is off like in the original games, uh, then uh, I'm fine with it, to be honest. To be honest. I like how I, I now got an email, I think, from from Aspire with yeah now I also got a battle from review code one week late luckily I got this from 100% Star Wars but uh, yeah they're, they're so bad with communicating they, they basically gave us review codes after the game has been released um, but yeah this is this is like so far the battle from one multi the fact that the battle from one multiplayer works so much better is just Weird, to be honest. Uh... Yeah, I might do a giveaway with the code later. I don't know if that's a particular code I can't give away any way I want, but yeah. Uh... But yeah, let's see. 
I wanna I wanna try to find some more fights with Actually, why don't we try hosting our own server and see if that's fine? Because if we host our own server in Battlefront 1, I think we should be able to remove the AI count completely. So, uh, no lag or frame issues on Xbox, so PlayStation is probably good. Are we talking multiplayer, Justin? That's what I'm curious about. Do we have any Xbox players here who have played on online? Because that gives me a lot of hope if it's fine uh, online. Um... So yeah, let's uh, create one, s wait, did I create server? And let's just take, what's the smallest map where we can find each other easily? Let's just go like, I don't know, Naboo Plains, and just because why not? Uh, and let's see if I can actually remove the AI completely. Yes, I can, good. So let's remove the AI completely, and then this is a custom server, and let's see how it feels to just shoot, shoot each other in a one-on-one, -on -one, basically. Um, seeing the cancel talks and it's on da damage control. Yeah, let's not get our tinfoil hats. There was multiple other people in the chat who said they just got the review codes. Uh, so they're just very slow at sending them out. I can guarantee you to 100% that the, those people are not watching my stream right now because they took over a week to respond to my email. So yeah. Um, so let's see how the FPS... Look at the... Look at my fucking FPS in a custom server in Battlefront 1. I'm sitting at 1000 FPS. So obviously they've capped the FPS a little bit uh, on the Battlefront 1 servers too. But it was capped to 144. And again, that's not a complaint. That means it's capped to my refresh rate, which it should be. But right here... Uh, why are the servers... Okay, we're gonna see how this feels to shoot, but like, it seems like the servers are so much better in Battlefront 1. It's so weird. But that means that they do have... So look at... Let's see. Let's just try to shoot each other. Okay, let's just do like... Just do a couple of duels where we move around as much as possible. Wait, why can't I roll? Have I bound it to the wrong key? Give me a second. Wait, which button is... I thought it was Alt key. That's what I do in Battlefront 2. Wait, which button is rolling here? Am I stupid? Or is it double-clicking something? Let's see. Oh, it's on the space! Wait, it's the same button as jumping. Oh my god. Okay, okay. So if you run forward, you jump. But if you run sideways, you backwards, you also jump? But sideways, okay. Alright, so let's... Let's, um, uh, let's just try to have a duel and see how the hit registration feels. Okay, that was pretty fast. Uh, it wasn't moving too much though, but like... Have you tried Battlefront 2 with zero bots? Maybe the amount of AI hurts the server's tracking. We could try that for sure. Because I, I, most people who... I think either you're going to play with each other against a lot of AI, or you're going to play... If you play against each other, you're most likely going to remove the AI, because the AI is just annoying if you're trying to do like... PvP. Uh, I'm going to go first person here instead. <laughs> so fucking hard to hit with the bullet spread and everything. I think this seems fine to be completely honest. I mean, this is kind of how it hit. Re this feels just like I remember when I when I tried this a couple of years ago when they when they started up the servers again. I mean, I think the Battlefront One multiplayer seems to be completely fine. To be completely honest. Um. I think we should go and try some Battlefront 2 multiplayer without a lot of bots and see what happens. But still, something no matter no matter what it is, something is capping the FPS in Battlefront 2 because obviously on the server with the bots here, we got Actually, we could try it just to see just now we know. Okay, Nabu planes, I got 1000 FPS. It was smooth. Let's try exactly the same thing. Uh Oops. Uh, exactly the same thing. Let's do... Fucking hell, why does it freeze like this sometimes? Let's do Nabu Plains. Uh, Clone Wars. And let's do... With AI this time. Let's do just max AI. Just to give a good like test example. Okay. 32 AI on each side. And let's see... Uh... 
if this FPS is any worse right now. <laughs> Thank you very much, Luciano. Do, 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 do. Uh, okay, so my FPS is still as high. I don't think the FPS has to do with the AI then, to be honest. My FPS is still just as high. We added 64 bots and there's absolutely no difference. I guess we gotta try and, and, and like test out the... Uh, why can't I swap out my weapon? Fuck, the bindings are different here. There we go. I need, to, I need to make sure I get the same bindings. Obviously, it's a bit harder to test out the hit registration uh, with all the AI, but... Um, it seems like Battlefront's, Battlefront 1's multiplayer is just fine, no matter if you have AI or not. But for some reason, Battlefront 2's AI is fine. Oh, there's, uh, let's see, let's see if I can... Oh my god, the fucking AI just wrecks face. Wow, this is loud, I think I'm gonna have to lower the volume a little bit. Um... Yeah, we should do the same in Battlefront 2, with no bot and max bots. At least that will rule out what the issue is. Yes, the achievements have already been revealed, I showed them, uh... Uh, in my in my video today, but yeah, this seems to be smooth. I mean, honestly, Battlefront One's multiplayer seems to be just what it's supposed to be. You can play only players, you can play only AI, uh, and it it seems to be smooth. My FPS is great. I'm not like obviously there is the the heat registration will be like the classic games were, but uh, yeah, I think we should try. We should try some Battlefront 2 without the AI. So let, let's tr let's try that out. <laughs> Honestly, if someone thinks I'm a shill, based on even what I said in my review and this, you don't know me or my channel. Like, there's a lot of reviews out there just being, oh, I love this game, it's so great. I've complained about every little thing I've found, whether it's the freaking inverted thing or the uh, the servers being uh, being bad. But, like, shilling is one of the words that I'm, I'm this close to banning every person who mentions that in the chat because it's such a cringe word to use when people just say it to throw shit for no reason. Like... If you just go in, there are certain channels, I will not name names, that just praise everything. And that's fine. But, like, seriously, if you think... The problem with some people is that they think if one thing is broken, you have to absolutely hate the game, you have to refund it, you have to put a 1 out of 10 review. There is no scale at all. I'm not saying this is a 10 of 10 release. This is definitely not a 10 out of 10 release. But it's a very... Uh, Opposite for me, I've been abused for criticizing it in my review. Well, 95% or 99% of the people have been happy with my review. But there's always those people who are like, if something doesn't work, you're a shill if you like the game. Like, seriously. Um, yeah. Arguing over something like this is just like brain dead, to be honest. It's so stupid. If you don't want to buy the game because one thing didn't work, be my guest. I don't give a shit. I like this release. If I have to rate this out of a let's say 10 out of 10, I would probably give it a 7 out of 10, um, based on, as a re-release. Because the multiplayer right now in at least Battlefront 2 isn't working function properly, and I would say that there are, like, the, the key bind that you find, the fact that you can't invert the controls for flying is in Battlefront 1, actually, only. But out of all the things in, all, in those two games, that's, like, my main complaints. Everything else is basically, like, when I grew up. So, yeah, like, I, I'm so... T it's kind of, uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. You guys get my point. A lot of you have watched my channel for so many years, and if there's one thing I'm not, it's not a shill. I've always, like, been very constructive and criticized, no matter what game it is, EA's Battlefront or this Battlefront. But there's a very big difference between... There's, there's a scale, you know? There's being... Praising everything without criticism is bad, 
hating on everything, taking it to the extreme, thinking everything shit. If one thing is shit, that's also bad. You know, some people I'm not, I've seen in the chat they're on this spectrum, and there's also some people on this spectrum, and uh, yeah. Uh, how do I exit out of here? Wait, do I have to go in here before I? Uh, Let's see. Yeah, but it's, it's weird. If they obviously figure out how to make the, the servers work well for Battlefront 1, I don't see why they can't make it work well for Battlefront 2. Maybe there's just a little flick, a switch they need to flick. Maybe they need to just patch it. I don't fucking know what it could be. Uh, th thank you, Fabio. I appreciate you. Um, I've always tried to be... Uh, that's always been my thing on this channel. Informative... Uh, Informative, honest content, you know, whether it's bad, whether it's good. I'm never overly negative or overly positive. I try to be balanced. Uh, so let's, let's try this just to rule out the bot thing, even though I feel like it probably doesn't have to do with bots, considering in Battlefront 1, the bots didn't affect at all. So let's... Uh, Let's try just exactly the same thing. Camino, Conquest, Clone Wars, and then we remove all the bots and see if that does any difference. I kind of hope it doesn't do any difference, because if it doesn't do any difference, that means that it's a issue in its core, something that they can hopefully fix. Um, whereas if this somehow magically works, it means that we're going to have to play without AI. And as you can see, my FPS is capped again, sitting at 29. So, yeah, there, there is something fundamentally wrong. I, I don't know what the hell they've done. They've obviously successfully made the Battlefront 1 servers work. So why on earth are the Battlefront 2 servers when you host your own servers fucked? I do not understand. I thought that the two games had very similar server systems. Um, exactly. If they work, if it works for Battlefront One, they sure as hell might must be able to. Um, they must be able to, to fix it. Thank you, Mortal. I appreciate the kind words. Wait, uh, sorry, I didn't see what you said. Hundred percent Star Wars. Was it? Are you lagging or not right now? Again, I don't think this has anything to do with AI. This is purely something that caps the FPS. I cannot... I Like, I cannot say what it is. Again, New Zealanders, Australians, Xbox players. The, are, is there anyone in the chat right now who are playing this on Xbox multiplayer? I want to know how those servers are. Are they better? Um, because this is like lag fest deluxe. Um, we tr actually, when we tested this, we tried we tried a bunch of uh, uh, we tried a bunch of uh, of different maps. Are there refresh rate settings you can try switching around? I don't think again, since th I'm getting 700 FPS when I play offline. Uh, I mean, this hit registration, to be honest, it's just like in Battlefront 1. It, it's an old game. The hit registration is going to be like that. This FPS capping, that's what needs to stop. But I'm so... No, there was no setting in the server hosting. But this, this, is, what, this is what confuses me. Battlefront 1, we joined Aspire's official servers. Okay, so 100% Star Wars is saying that it's fine for him. But I am capped at the same FPS as before. FPS is probably tied to server tick rate for hosts. So th this is so fucking confusing. Like, Battlefront 1, official servers capped at 144 FPS or your refresh rate, completely fine. If you do make your own server, 1000 FPS, great. Battlefront 2, official servers. Wait, what? So 100% Star Wars is saying it's as smooth as it's ever been. But why is it lagging for me then? This is so weird. The only thing that is the only thing that is consistent is that the host always lags in Battlefront 2 and not in Battlefront 1. But sometimes when you join a server, like right now, he's saying that it's fine for him.
Wait, you guys... Don't get my fucking hopes up, guys. I've seen three comments in the chat right now saying that they teased Battlefront 3. There is absolutely no way you guys are for real. But just because of the fact that three of you said it, I have to go to Reddit and check. But I know you're fucking with me. But like, it's not often three people at the same time say it in the chat. But it's bait. I know it's... I'm 99% sure that it is bait. Uh... And it probably is, because I don't see anything on Reddit. So, uh... Yeah. <laughs> no surprise there. Uh... But yeah, okay, so, so so it's... Okay, let's try again. No bot, you're the host. See what happens. A new donation to Battlefront update. Roman, thank you very much for the two pound super chat. Are you gonna stream Battlefield Season 7? No, probably not. I, I'm more than enough with this and the Dark Forces remaster. I do not really want to play Battlefield right now. Um, that game still has left, even if that game has been fixed now, it still has left a sour aftertaste in my mouth after it fucked over Battlefront 2. Um... I fell for the bait, but I said I didn't believe it, but I still checked, just to be sure. All right, so let's see what happens if someone else is the host and we have no AI, because this is so weird. Weird, weird, weird. I, def I just shot at five people, definitely hit them and did no damage. Are you talking Xbox Online now, or? Let's see, refresh. There we go, Camino. Let's see how this works. Mm -mm -mm. No, my FPS is still ass. This is just like when we were testing, when me and... Uh, this is like when me and... 100% Star Wars were testing this a couple of days ago, where sometimes... Sometimes, the person joining would randomly have really good FPS. And, and most of the time, it would not. So, like, right now, 29 FPS. If this, like, honestly, all they need to do is fix this fucking FPS capping in Battlefront 2, and all the multiplayer is fine. The hitboxes and shit, it's not ideal. It, it's basically... Yes, it is not updated to be up to 2024's multiplayer standards, but it works just like it did on the original games. However, this FPS capping is what ruins Battlefront 2's multiplayer for me, to be honest. Um, whereas Battlefront 1, literally, literally 30 times more FPS. I got 1000 FPS when I hosted a server with AI in Battlefront 1. In this game, we get 29. Always 29. Uh, I don't know how it is for you, 100% uh, Star Wars, but I'm assuming you are lagging as well now that you are hosting. Because I still have never seen a host not lag in Battlefront 2. No, Aspire does not have a... They do not... Okay, so I don't know what those three... La trash, okay. Yeah, so the lag, it seems to be... Yeah. Uh, I hope they will be able to hotfix this, but Aspire are not known to fix their games. They... did not fix the KOTOR release on the Switch. <laughs> But this is such a big selling point. I mean, the things they didn't fix in the KOTOR one, that was like one of the missions you couldn't do and had to use a cheat code. Possibly a mistake in the server command arguments that causes a lock for server hosts that could be capping it. Matt Ross, thank you so much for the five pound super chat. And that is exactly what I think it is. It's not something in the code of the physical, like it's not in the game engine, I would say, because I'm getting 500 plus FPS if I play offline. It's something in the multiple multiplayer server arguments. Maybe it's... Wait, we just got a random person to join. Sinno. I have no idea who this is, but obviously someone else with early access. Uh, <laughs> interesting. Um, so yeah, they need to fix the... Uh, They need to fix this. That's, yeah, basically it. 
Um, CT11. <laughs> nice. I wonder who this is. Could be a developer even. Reporting for duty. Ask Sinno if he's lagging. Okay, I'm gonna ask him. Are you uh, also lagging like crazy on these servers? I wonder if he's a developer. That would be kind of fun. But yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Wait, here he is. It's fine on my end. What? That's I don't I don't believe it. I mean, some people might not. You have a FPS counter on. That's weird. So I'm capped. 100% Star Wars is lagging like crazy. But this guy is not. And that's what's so weird, because again, I have joined servers. I'm at 300 average. All this means is that it's fixable, I will say. If some pe person on this server can have 100%, 300 FPS while we have laggy FPS, it means it's fixable. But like... I don't know, man. Uh... But the thing is, I've seen this too. So uh, even if the, even even if this was a developer joining, when me, uh, even if this was a developer lying to us, even though I don't think that's now we're talking big fucking tinfoil hats. Uh, We experienced this too. When me and Hunter, if you saw my video today, I actually showed the comparison. When once I joined this map, Camino, he was a host, 700 FPS, smooth as butter. We restarted the server, I joined, 30 FPS. So this guy isn't lying. We experienced the same thing. It's just random as hell. That is the problem. Uh, uh, we've only tried Camino today, but when we tried it, uh, we tried it. Um, L earlier in the week we did Camino, we did Naboo, we did we did like half the map. So we, just to make sure it isn't a map issue. Um, thank you very much Force for the $5 super chat. How is Battlefront so far? Everything is great except the Battlefront 2 multiplayer. I got a code through Embargo. Yeah, that's probably why people are dropping in the multiplayer now. Because they seem to be like pumping out codes now at last minute. Um, so yeah. This is weird. It's random. That's the weird thing. It is random. Like, we've seen... I don't freaking know. A new donation to it seems to be a streamer, sometimes YouTube. Uh, it's kind of sad that since they cancelled the Star Wars open world game, they're giving us old games to make us feel better, lol sad. Uh, a new donation to Battle Wait, what? Uh, thank you very much, Omnibuster, for the $5 super chat. It's kind of sad that they... That since they cancelled the Star Wars open world game, they're giving us old games to make us feel bad. Well, which... Wait, what? The Star Wars Outlaws isn't cancelled, or are you talking about... Uh, another? Uh... uh, uh. Another open world game? But yeah, I don't think those are related. I think to just release the old games because it's easy, to be honest. It's easy money, release the old games. They probably want to do the, the new stuff too, but that's about 500 times more expensive to develop, I would say. Uh, thank you very much, Josh. I appreciate the kind words. The latest video is definitely doing really well. Um, I mean, you might be thinking about like uh, Star Wars 1313. Uh, I keep missing what they say in the chat. There's no, there's no way to look back in the chat. So I'm kind of like looking away from the in-game chat and missing it. Yeah, it could be the, the Star Wars 1313 is uh, an also cancelled the open world game. That was a, a way back though. 
Well, that leak is has still not been backed by any reliable sources, yet again. The whole thing about Disney on purpose increasing the price to make people cancel their Star Wars games so that Disney don't have to pay them out of the contract. After that leak from Trust Me Bro sources came out, I reached out to some contacts. I reached out even to, to be honest, Tom Henderson, who you guys might know. Not even he thought that was legit. He reached out to his contract and like, yeah. That particular leak, I do not believe. I think the cancellation... I think the cancellation of the Mandalorian game is on EA. Disney has always had a high cut. That, I do not argue. That is something Tom has already reported. Uh, that's a shitty thing. Like, I've always thought that... Uh, 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 like, they had a, the, too big of a cut for any developer. They had like 20, 22%. 20, and that's something Tom has, but the entire, um, yeah. I am and the thing is, they might as well also have up, like, up the fee. Uh, but they, what, what I didn't believe in this video, and what Tom didn't believe either, to be honest, is that they already made a deal for a game with EA, and while the deal has already been done, and the development have been done, they go and say, we're increasing your price, you better cancel that game, and then they cancel it. I blame that on EA. Disney are greedy as hell, and they have way too high of a cut. Uh, but the cancellation of the Mando game, I blame fully on EA. Um, to be honest. But they're both big, greedy corporate companies. I mean, like, what do you expect? But that particular... I'm not gonna let EA off the hook on that one. What, but who... Honestly, who, who, what does it matter? If EA cancel it, or fucking Disney cancel it. They're big two greedy corporations that do bullshit, both of them. Like, but that particular one, uh, which has made no sense. Oh, that's, that's great, Fives. Happy to hear. Uh, thank you, oh, thank you very much, Fives, for joining the Senate. Sorry, I'm so up in the discussion that I'm missing. Fives, thank you very much for joining the Senate. Uh... I am from New Zealand and I'm playing on PlayStation 5. So far there's no lag and the FPS feels like 60, which is nice. That is great to hear. Are you talking about multiplayer? Because again, multiplayer is the part that's the issues right now. But it seems like it seems like it's a PC only thing and it seems like it's a Battlefront 2 only thing. Um Yeah, let's, let's try space battles and see if there's any difference in the FPS. Uh, sure thing. And then we can just try play some offline, man. I want to play some, just play some Battlefront, you know? Now we're just testing and testing and testing. Um, uh, how about uh, I... Uh, create. Let's see. Yeah, exactly. Like you, yeah, like you said, uh, Luke. I'm gonna call you Luke. It's way easier to say than 100% Star Wars. That thing wasn't true, exactly. But like I'm, like I'm saying, some people just eat it up without any criticism at all. Believe, don't believe everything you hear from either side, especially if it's not corroborated by any reliable sources. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's try some space here and see if it's still capped at. I, don't, I would be very surprised if this isn't capped at 29 FPS, because I think that seems to be something wrong in the code, in the server code. Yeah, I mean, it's the same thing here. 29 FPS, always 29 FPS. I don't understand why. Really fucking weird. They gotta fix this, man. If they just fix this, this is gonna be great. People love conspiracies. They do indeed. Yeah, but that fee going up, isn't that... I'm assuming that was just after the license expired, right? So that fee went up for everyone? Th that's like, that, that part I buy. But them increasing the fee on an already signed contract? That, that's the part that's... Uh, 
in, in, in order to force people to cancel the games, basically. That's the part I do not believe. The fee, I mean, obviously that's the reason why EA had their... Uh... Bomber incoming. Repeat. Bomber incoming. Thank you very much, Tove, for the 39 months in the Senate. Appreciate it, my friend. Capped at, yeah, exactly. I'm capped at 29 FPS. Maybe I, when I turn 30, maybe I'll get 30 FPS. It's age capped. Bomber incoming. Repeat. It went Bomber up because incoming. EA Star Wars license expired. So yeah, that was like three years ago. Again. Oh my god, why am I even... You know what? Goodbye. I'm so done. Uh... <laughs> Indeed, I am just, I'm sick of people. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just done with, yeah, let's see if this glitch still works. You can actually get, okay, it didn't work, never mind. You can actually get uh, outside the hangar if you do that correctly. Try V-Sync. I don't think, again, I don't think any graphic settings will fix this, because this is the multiplayer servers. Correct me if I'm wrong, but if everything works fine with the graphics in single player, why would I have to tweak something for multiplayer? Wouldn't that just be a server thing? <laughs> Welcome to 2024 when no one can enjoy things anymore. Well, I think a lot of people can enjoy stuff, but it's when you just eat something up without... Yeah, yeah. Without any type of criticism. Need more mods. Well... Yeah, probably. Well, I haven't had this many viewers. Okay. Usually I have between 50 and 100. So we're almost like 10 times more than normal. Or we actually are more than 10 times more than normal. So yeah. Wait. I didn't even realize you can get negative points by crashing. Uh, but yeah, this is a server issue. It is. It is a server issue. Uh, wait, did I? Yeah, I fixed the... I wonder how, actually how laggy it is. Uh... It seems to... Wait, why can't I lock on? Why... Oh wait, maybe this... Is this a bug too? Wait, why am I... Why are my missiles not locking on? This is weird. Wait, can you lock... Uh, can you... Uh, Luke, can you lock on with your missiles? Oh, I, actually, never mind. He's playing a bomber, so he... That's weird. Yeah, you're right. Bombers can't lock on, but I should be able to lock on. Well, not on this, but I should be able to lock on on uh, player. You are very right. I am a bomber. I am stupid. Uh, <laughs> I thought that was my normal torpedoes. That, but it wasn't. Obviously, I'm stupid. That was... Uh, yeah, the V-Wing, just in my mind, isn't a bomber, but ob obviously it is. So... <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Yes, the FPS is completely fine in instant action. I have like 500 FPS. It's only here. It's, I guess flying is like, flying isn't as, but it's still like, I mean, I don't know if you guys can see it, but when I move like this, you can see that the FPS is bad. Um, let's see if I can actually, there it is. Oh shit. Oh, Ooh, how did I not die from that? He's got the big ass gunship though, so that one's gonna be. Wait, what did I just? Oh, I got too close to the other turrets. Uh, lore wise, it's not a bomber. Yeah, that's why I was kind of like, yeah. <laughs> Since we, when has a V wing been a bomber? That's why V wings were always bombers in these games or in Battlefront Two in particular. But I don't think they were in like Clone Wars or something like that. Uh, the FPS doesn't actually drop. Yeah, that's the thing. It, it isn't, I'm not getting low FPS because of performance issues, it's because of something with the server. Um, it's because, like, you know, if you get a low FPS in Battlefield, you see your FPS go Ooh, down to like 40 and up to 50, and oh, there's a lot of people down to 30 and then up to 60 again. But here it's capped, so you can see it's constantly at 29 up here because it's capped. Something with the servers are broken, and I hope they fix it, because obviously it's working on the PlayStation, it seems to work on the Xbox, it works in Battlefront 1, it seems like it's literally only PlayStation 2, uh, PC, and Battlefront 2, where the, the, the servers are broken. How's it going, T-Money? No worries. 
I'm actually not sure what streamer mode changes. That's actually a good good question. Uh, I I genuinely have no idea. It could be maybe that it turns off the music. What if I try increasing the music volume now? I think it literally is that actually. No, no, no. It isn't. That was the copyrighted music. So I don't know what streamer mode does to be honest. Uh yeah, it could be changing the name, but it doesn't look like it changes the name either, so I don't really know if I'm gonna be honest what streamer mode. I have no clue what it does. No, me neither. Uh, well, the, the, the flying works in Battlefront 2. You can fix the flying in Battlefront 2 with the inverted controls. It's in Battlefront 1 you can't do it. Maybe so people can't grab your IP. Well, I don't think the IP look, shows up otherwise, does it? But yeah, I think we've done enough testing with multiplayer. How about we just go and do some uh, campaign or something now? Uh, or some instant action. I feel like we've spent, spent an hour trying to like digest the multiplayer right now and... Uh, we're not going to get any further. We figured out it works fine in Battlefront 1. Uh, it works with bots, it, without bots. In Battlefront 2, it's random. It does never works for the host, and it works for some people. Uh, yeah, it kind of sucks fives because... Uh, like games like KOTOR, the music is fine because it's all original. But games like Battlefront just reuse the official music, which means you can't, um, you can't uh, use it simply. Show the split screen menu. Well, it's pretty. It means this is basically it. I don't have two controllers, so I can't really test it out, unfortunately. Um, but you know, it's here. It's here. Mm. It seems like the PC version AI can cannot use. Um, uh, the AI works obviously for the heroes in Heroes vs. Villains, but it does not seem like it's working uh, in, or it, does, it just doesn't seem like they've added that option. From what I understand, it was only available on Xbox back in the day when you play Conquest, but I have not seen either an option for it or a... Um, uh, an option for it or a well an actual AI hero so I think it's not available unfortunately um, can you try a quick Coruscant Clone Wars instant action that was always a reliable enemy hero spawn well wasn't that something you had to activate in the settings because it's not here if you go to conquest there's nothing about heroes if you go to global there's nothing about heroes uh, I probably have to increase this um, but I mean, sure, I, I could, I could quickly, get, pl I could play a game of Coruscant just for fun, and then we can jump into the campaign, uh, if you, uh, if you guys are fine with that. Let's do uh, conquest. It's a good old conquest, um, and then we'll jump into to the campaign. Wait, what? On PlayStation Five, I get, get lots. Copyright claim for the movie clips in the background. Cool kid, thank you very much for the six months in the Senate, and thank you, Roman, for the one pound super chat. Uh, movie clips. Do, oh, you mean in the campaign? Uh, I don't think so, because they don't have that much music, plus uh, they're so blurry and short that I, I think it should be fine, but I'm ugh, not entirely sure. But yeah. So now my FPS is capped at 144 again. So I think, basically, as long as you're up at 140, I think that's, that's. I mean, obviously, I, I won't notice any difference. Um, it's capped at 144 because that's what my uh, <laughs> refresh rate is set to. So that makes sense. So that, so that in particular is nothing special. How do you remove the HUD? Uh, you have to uh, use a sheet code. Go into the menu like this, and uh, I, I need to Google it, actually. Uh, actually, no, I don't want to play without UI. Google, just Google for 
Battlefront 2 cheat codes and use the PlayStation or Xbox cheat code uh, and you can remove the HUD. Um, actually, maybe you guys want to see the cheats. Maybe we should do that. I can show you guys all the cheats. So you guys uh, get to the full experience. Battlefront 2 cheat codes, because I don't remember them in my head. Uh, okay, battle front two cheat codes. Let's see here. Um, thank you very much, Roman, for the for the zero seventy nine super chat as well. Um, okay, let's just do all let's do all the cheat codes here. Uh, that is PlayStation Two one. Does this one work? No hard. Let's see. One, two, three, four, one, one, two, down, left, down, up, up, left, right. That should be the UI removed. Look at that. Now we got no HUD. I'm going to activate the invisibility one too, because, uh, let's see here. Up, 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 left, down, 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 left, up, 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 left, right. Now we should be invincible. And then let's activate slow motion sound effects. Up, 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 left. Down, up, up, left. Down, 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 left. Up, down, down, left. Right. Uh, and now we should have slow motion effects too. Yeah, you guys hear it? Yeah. It sounds really bad. I'm gonna increase it just so you can hear a little bit. This sounds weird. Now we're invincible, no HUD, and we've got... I actually haven't tried Job. Uh, I think uh, now Job Job or, uh, works in Battlefront One. I actually haven't tested it out yet. If I'm going to be completely honest, is there online co-op? I mean, yes. If you you could create your server and play uh, against AI if you want to. So yes, there is. But again, on Battlefront Two, on, it seems like it's working fine on all the other platforms. That's a weird thing. It seems like Battlefront Two on PC in particular has issues with the servers. So yeah, this is... I don't know if you can remove this, but I'm... I'm um, yeah, actually, just one more. The, the low-rest soldiers. Down, down, up, up, left. Down, 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 left. Up, 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 up. What? Look at the... Look at how the soldiers look now. Look at them. <laughs> low-rest soldiers. Man, this is... This feels like a fever dream, doesn't it? Oh my god, with this audio, with these looks. And this is like a straight up fever dream. The server issues are also on Xbox. It has low FPS while you host. Really? Fucking hell, I thought that was only gonna be a PC thing. Because everyone else said it worked fine. That is bad. Reach veteran guard. Okay, this now it starts to feel like I'm cheating. Like, honestly, I don't care playing like playing uh, with invincibility mode in, in single player. You can cheat as much as you want, but now that I'm actually unlocking like <laughs> medals from doing it, well, let's just finish this game and then we can go play some campaign. Oh well, yeah. By the way, we actually wasn't the reason to why we did this to find if there was heroes. Uh, and I think the answer is to that is no. There are no AI heroes in Conquest in this version, but only... Uh, oh, I ran out of ammo. Uh, but only in Heroes vs. Villains. Let's just quit out. I think I think we, we, we got the gist of it. So let's, let's get to the campaign. This is some good shit, man. The, the freaking Rise of the Empire... Let, I hope the cheat codes disappear after the game, otherwise this is going to be annoying. Um, no, you cannot cheat in multiplayer. You cannot cheat in multiplayer, and you also your medals do not carry over to multiplayer. That would have been very OP. I feel like all of the server problems are imported from the base game. But were they really, though? I don't think the FPS was... But that's a weird... I don't think the FPS was capped at 29 FPS in the old games. And again, it's working great in the first game. Thank you very much, Fives, for joining the Senate and for dropping by. I appreciate it, my friend. Um, but again, in short, it seems like the one issue right now is Battlefront 2's multiplayer. And the weird thing is that sometimes it doesn't cap the FPS. Like, I got 300, 700 FPS 
in one server. That guy who joined us got 300 FPS when we were sitting at 29 FPS. I don't freaking know, man. Uh, can you play as heroes against AI? Yeah, of course. You can play any mode against AI, really. Um, but let's do this. Let's do the most beautiful campaign ever. Um, oh, man, this might copyright. I might have to mute this. This might be... I don't think they will have thought this through, have they? I'm sorry guys, I accidentally skipped that. I need to get on my stream deck a mute game button. Maybe I could do that. If you guys give me like, instead of me having to mute my microphone and everything, I should be able to fairly quickly get a, give me one second, stream. Come on, why is Windows lagging out? Stream Deck. Great, I haven't even downloaded it. The Stream Deck download. Give me one minute so I can just freaking mute this shit so I don't get a claim. Windows download. Um, exactly, the campaign has the course on Space Battle. I think it might even have another one or... Yeah. Um, download, why is it not downloading? Windows, download please. Uh, camera hub, control center, stream deck, there it is. Just download it, please. That's all I want. So I can just bind on my key, 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 bound, key button, my stream deck. I can bind on the stream deck. I can uh, show you guys how to do it. <laughs> um, so I can mute the audio to the stream. I will still hear it. Or actually, we can just mute it. Yeah, to the stream is probably... Or no, I'm going to mute the game so I don't forget to unmute it. That's probably the best one. Um, net... Netcode was uh but the problem was the FPS. The FPS cap was just uh, uh bonus Legato. Yeah, let's see how quickly I can get this to work. All right, so I need. Do they not have the wave? Do I ser do they seriously not have the wave link program automatically in it? Do I really need to download that? Navigation, multi action, soundboard, stream deck, system. How do they not have their own software in there? Do I need, really need to download that? So if I search for wave link plugin, okay, I guess I have to download it. Get fucking hell. Now it's going to be the whole thing when I have to sign in. I really don't like Elgato's whole system where you have to like sign in and you have to make an account. Just download the files and put them in there, please. So annoying. I know I already have an account too. Why can't I just fucking download it? I really like Elgato stuff, except the fact that just to download a fucking add-on to this, to Stream Deck, I need, it's a new way, Stream Deck, Stream, uh, Wave Link Download, is there no just download link, please, Wave Link Plugin, do I really need to make an account, let's see, install, oh wait, did that work, maybe I didn't actually have to, but what happened? Something happened. God damn it. Plugins. Okay, now uh, did it opened up this again. Are you kidding me? Wave link. Please don't make me make a fucking account. Just install it. What's the problem? Get. Make an account. Are you fucking... Elgato, you used to be so good. Why are you fucking doing this stupid ass? You make need to make an account. Unexpected error when authenticating with an identity provider. Are you fucking kidding me, Elgato? You used to make things so much easier, and now you're adding this shitty ass wave link. Just add it to my fucking program. How hard can it be? Why are they making it so complicated? Yeah, I have a hatred for something that forces you to sign up. I literally just want to add a plugin here. And for some reason, it's like, oh, you're going to make an account. No. Because I can add all of these things here. But I can't. Oh. And I, already, I know I've made an account here like 10 times before. But for some reason, I don't know if I used Google. I don't know if I used... I don't know where, why I used the, which accounts. So now I'm probably making like my 50th account on their website. Because they can't... Maybe I can actually see that on my on this PC instead. Let's see. Let's see on my other PC. 
that actually has Stream Deck installed, what account I have, so at least I can... Now I'm, actually, I'm not even logged in here, so I guess here I didn't need... Oh, I logged in with... It says I logged in with YouTube here, so why... Oh my god. Why are we doing this on the stream? That's a good question. Also that I can mute, create account. It doesn't even let me. And I had to choose what currency. I don't give a shit. Just create the account, please. Thank you. Get. And now please open in Stream Deck. Please. Nothing's happening. Plugins. I've got to be fucking kidding with me. Open Stream Deck. It's not doing anything. Are you kidding me? Okay, let's try restarting Stream Deck. Yeah, we should just move on. I'm going to give this uh, another one minute. And if I can't get this shit to work, I'm just going to have to mute the entire stream, basically. Because they apparently... Elgato's fucking system is absolute horse shit. And I used to be sponsored by them. And I used to really like their products. But holy shit, this is bad. Now it even says I'm logged in here. And I still can't open in Stream Deck. Open in Stream Deck. I swear to God, how hard can it be? It just... You guys... Okay, now, congratulations, it worked. Okay. Okay, let's see. Output. Uh, toggle. Wait, how do I do this now? Shit. No, if device, input. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. I need to. <laughs> oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, wait. Delete. Output. Uh, set. Output. Oh my god. How do I choose which one though? <laughs> Elgato, why are you making things so complicated? Adjust. Output. No, wait. It's the input. Sorry. That's my bad. Here we go. This should be the game audio. I should be able to put the... Adjust the system sound to... Mute. There we go. Mute system to stream mix. Let's see if this works. I am going to be shocked if this works. You guys just got to see a tutorial on how to... Let's see here. Here's the system audio. This is where all the music that's gets copyrighted. Then I click this, boom. And now you guys should not be able to hear it. Let's see if this works. Quick test here. Uh, okay. Let's see. Here we go. Battlefront 2 campaign starts off at Majito. Let's see. Is it boom? Is it quiet for you guys now? Because then the button works. And then I unmute it, and now you should be able to hear it again. When we arrived at the bottom, um, but let's go. Our Jedi commander believed we had been sent to take out a droid and Good. Collector. This might be copyrighted. No, however. Was that our unit of the I don't think so, though. I think this should be fine. After an experimental power source, How many of you guys have uh, played this campaign before? I'm curious. I really like this campaign because it takes an alternate... Basically, an alternate timeline of the clones, where, as you could hear, they knew that Palpatine was up to some fishy stuff. They knew All right, man. Today's target that they were about to betray the Jedi. In this version of Star Wars, they actually knew that. Uh, even though it doesn't make it... No, wait! Are the... Oh, God, I still have the... I still have the cheat codes on. Wait, please tell me I can remove the cheat code somehow. I need to... Uh, uh, this is kind of awful. Um, can I just do them again and it removes them? Let's try. Because I... <laughs> fuck's sake. Uh, low res soldiers. That's the wrong one. Shit. What? Can we? Can you actually not? Rem Do I need to restart the entire game? Really? Is that how it worked back in the day? I actually don't remember. Uh, <laughs> Do I have to wait? Uh, I, God damn it! Um, 
down, 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 up, up, left. Oh no, it worked! Look at that, I removed it. So I just gotta, I just gotta do it again, no problem. Uh, let's remove the invincibility, because that makes it too easy. That one didn't work? Wait. I think you need to do like that. Okay, that one's gone. Invincibility is gone, low res is gone. Let's just get rid of that stupid uh, slow mo effect now, too, and we should be good. Um, there we go. All the cheat codes should be gone, and now we can continu continue the campaign and actually play it legit. Um, what? Are you guys hearing? It seems like some of the effects are still slow motion. What the hell was that? The audio, obviously this sounds fine and that voice sounded fine, but there was still some weird audio there. Oh well. Uh, that was weird. For the Chancellor! I love that they just... I love how the connected clones are just like directly under the Chancellor here, just doing shit. In case you didn't... Uh, you didn't... Uh, notice, but... In this mission... He had the Mundi things were just helping him out. We're helping them out here. But the... Clones in the 501st were actually ordered to steal a... Artifact for the Chancellor without letting Kia de Mundi know, which is kind of sneaky. Um, so, yeah, the five of first, uh, they, they really did some uh, some fishy stuff. Oh, there we go. Energy regen award, nice. Wait, is invincibility still active? G Fuel promo code Sheev is very helpful, thank you. Well, thank you, Tweeter Trash, for using code Sheev, I appreciate it. Wait, am I still invincible? Wait, I might need to check this. Maybe it's still, uh... Shoot me. Oh shit, I think it might still be active. <laughs> but I swear I heard a sound. Wait. Alright, let's see now. Should be gone. Let's see. Shoot me. Not with a rocket launcher though, please, because I'm gonna die instantly. Wait, can you not... Oh no, can you not remove that cheat? Oh man, that's... Wait, so you can remove... Okay, how about this? No wait, I did take some damage. That, okay. I guess that AI that was standing here was just incredibly bad at aiming, maybe? Because... <laughs> oh well. Oh yeah, we we're supposed to actually play the objective here, maybe. Let's get a vehicle. No, wait, we can't do that, because this is enemy vehicles. Let's get this one. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, they were just really, really bad at aiming, I guess. Uh, this is normal, normal quality. Here we go, Pia de Mundi time. We have to get past the shield barricade. Get behind the shield and take out the generator. Capture the CP. Will serve as an excellent lookout point for our mission. Du, du, du. A was it a Stygian crystal that you actually did they actually say that? I don't remember. I don't remember the specifics, just that we there's some artifact we're supposed to steal for the Chancellor here. Uh, yes, Hero Assault is available in online multiplayer. That is correct. The sound effect seems fucked up. Wait, I think you might be watching a little bit behind if you're talking about the slow motion effects, because right now it sounds fine to me at least, so. Uh All right. Listen up. Before we can begin our assault on the sense energy collector, we have to penetrate their shield barricade. Energy so collector core. Oh man, how many times have you not like accidentally team killed uh AI? Cuz they just run like idiots. All right, we got to get over here. Take down the core shield by destroying the Wait, I just realized that if we're supposed to steal that artifact for the Chancellor without telling it to the Jedi. I'm assuming you can't do that part as Kia de Mundi? 
We'll, we'll see. I don't remember really. Otherwise, that's a big ass plot hole. They're stealing an artifact for the Death Star. Oh, really? That's pretty cool. How, how, where is that detailed though? Because I mean, I, I know this isn't canon, but do they expand upon the Battle from Two campaign somewhere? Uh. Destroy the core, okay. Oh, you can. I think it's just a plot hole. Ah, fair enough. Or maybe the Jedi are just like... I don't know. Alright. Sample, sample of the power crystals from the destroyed. Perhaps by studying these crystals we can create... Okay, so I guess maybe... You could also explain it in the way that maybe... Maybe they just told Kia de Mundi that it was something else that they actually need. Okay, I don't know. I, I don't think he was that stupid. I think it's just a plot hole. I'll leave it at that. Uh, mm -hmm. Alright, you done. Uh, Eduardo, we just hit 200,000 subscribers. That's why this we had a I had a counter because it happened mid uh, mid stream. <laughs> Man had two brains. It couldn't be that dumb. Well, the Jedi were incredibly arrogant, so it's not completely unlikely, is it? Um, but yeah. All right, first mission completed. Again, did, do we have anyone who has not played this campaign or not seen like? Maybe I should like be more quiet during the cutscenes. You were to listen or something. I don't know. Uh, because uh, again, it's pretty cool. It's like a, an alternate timeline to to what happens in the Clone Wars. Instead of the instead of the inhibitor chips and everything, well, it's obviously also an alternate timeline where the the, the Empire wins. So that's one thing. But uh, yeah, uh, but even before that, it's an alternate timeline. Considering that the clones here, they know what they were doing from the very beginning. They know they were gonna fuck over the Jedi. They know they were working for the Chancellor. To me, that, that, that wouldn't make sense, because that means that millions of Jedi or millions of clones no, knew this and the Jedi couldn't sense it. That makes the Jedi even more useless. But uh, but never nevertheless, I think it's a really cool story, because you really get to hear the clones, the 501st feelings and thoughts, and it kind of goes through. And the cutscenes getting skipped. I don't... Was there another cutscene that I accidentally clicked away? Huh, did I click something or... Or did... Could that be streamer mode? Maybe? What if it removes streamer mode? Honestly, if that's streamer mode, that's so stupid because that means they've, they've actually thought we're gonna make a streamer mode so you don't get copyright stuff, but they still kept the music even when you disable the music. So, I don't know. I heard that half of the campaign cutscenes are missing. Really? You're right. There was supposed to be a cutscene. No, wait, that's a different cut. Yeah, yeah, you're right. There's supposed to be a cutscene where where the, the five of first are talking. So if that's gone, that's literally half the campaign is gone. To be honest, the gameplay is just the normal maps with some tacked on objectives. But if the end cinematics are gone, that means that 50% of the campaign is gone. Yeah, I, I just played the campaigns in both games very briefly when I was recording my review. But that's pretty bad in that case. That's like another big missing thing. Because, um, I mean, that's what adds the flavor to the story. That's what makes this into a campaign. It's not the gameplay, to be honest, because that's kind of bland. But it's the cutscene. It's definitely there. I've seen it in other folks' reviews. Okay, interesting. Let, let's try. Let's see. I, I, I removed the streamer mode. And... Uh, well, now we get the... Um, time to get a copyright claim on this. But there's no music, so that's good. I think these clips should be fine because they're so short. Cause, yes, because there's supposed to be a cutscene like this afterwards, too. Whoa! more and more ground-based legions okay. found themselves pressed into space combat, including the fighting forces of the 501st. For months, every hour of our downtime was spent in the simulator. 
preparing for the time we would face our enemies from the cockpit of a 170. Mm -hmm. Finally, the day came to earn our wings. The CIS had staged a daring kidnapping of Chancellor Palpatine and was being escorted from Coruscant by a fleet of separatist ships. With only yeah. a few veteran pilots on planet... Campaigning without cutscene is a huge bug. Because, I mean, this is... This drive off the steps. is the campaign right here. The cutscenes you're seeing. Good night, everything PS5 Pro. Appreciate the support as always. But I'm confused. Pilots and Marines, get uh, the Jedi are depending on you. Um, I think that. But I'm I'm confused though because some of you are saying that you've seen reviews that has the cutscenes. And some of you are saying that they are missing. Has anyone actually seen the classic collection having the second part of the cutscenes? They obviously have the cutscenes before before the match. Do they have it after? I did I grew up with originals, yes. Whoa, what? Whoa, what the fuck is up with the sensitivity? Why is the sensitivity so What the hell? Why is the sensitivity so low all of a sudden? So weird. I'm so confused. I mean, I I, I always lowered it because I wanted to be. What the fuck is going on with the? Oh my god! Is this bugged or something? Gee, look, look at! I'm literally moving my mouse across my entire mouse pad right now. Like this is enough to do. Is this another bug? What the fuck? I I cannot like. Oh my god! I mean, it was fine. I, I was flying just a moment ago in instant action, and this fucking campaign. I, I, oh my god! This is so slow. It's unbelievable. What the the hell is going on? <laughs> Tie the wire. Thank you for the two pounds. Commendable not removing the original from. Wait, I don't think they. If they if they I don't think they can legally remove the. Okay. Just for the sake we saved the game already. Just for the sake of because I can still hear that weird audio bug. So I'm gonna restart the game just to be safe. And then we'll see if we still have that bug. Because that's fucking weird. Why would the sensitivity be so different as well in... I'm going to just join quickly an instant action match. Space battles just to see that it's fine there so I haven't messed up any settings. Um... But yeah, the sound was really weird. I'm wondering if that was something that was left from the cheat. So maybe now that I've disabled the cheat codes, we'll see. Uh... Yeah, this is not a good look if this is how bad. Uh, I mean, I, I can verify that it works properly just by playing... Because, again, I flew in instant action and that was completely fine. So, just... just uh, Yeah, there seems to be more issues in this game than I first suspected. But, yeah, so let's just do... Just quickly join this and see if, if I fly like normal. Yeah, this is probably the release build, I agree. Alright, let's see. Bomber incoming. Repeat. Bomber incoming. What the fuck? Okay, uh, let's see. Same ship, everything. This is fine. This is fine. No, look at this. Now I can move like I want. Okay, I move here, shoot this thing, move over here, shoot this thing, move over here. This is how it's supposed to feel, so why... I mean... I don't understand. Okay. Let's let's see if it had anything to do with that, those cheat codes I used. I highly doubt it. Uh, but let's just try. Why is it stuttering like this? All the time. It's like freezing up randomly. Alright, let's see. Uh, I'm just going to bypass this. And bypass the... Because the, we've already seen this. 
I just played Rebels in space and the... The stuttering is never happening in the game, it seems like, but it's like in the menu and stuff. Okay, now I don't know if I fucking know what's going on. Oh, this game is its like getting worse the more I play it. What the fuck is going on? Did the game just crash? <laughs> the game just crashed, guys. Um... The, the, this game is literally getting worse. Like, I, I didn't... I tested out a lot of parts of the game thoroughly during my re review period, but not the campaign, because I figured, how hard can it be? I played one mission, it worked. Uh, my god. Ugh. I think there might be time for a new video tomorrow called the Battlefront 2 has a lot of issues. This stream made me refund the game already. Yeah, I'm starting to question because like if, the, if it was only the multiplayer that had issues, the multiplayer in Battlefront 2 in particular and only on PC and only if you're hosting, you can work around that. But if the campaign has this much issues, consider using V-Sync. Yeah, that's... Uh, uh, yeah, sure. Um... As long as I can just... I mean... I don't even know. I don't fucking know right now. It's weird because everything else in this game... I have no, I've had no performance issues whatsoever during this entire week. Except the multiplayer, of course. Uh, but like, they, this, this fucking freezing in the menu like this randomly. I, that never happened earlier in the week. And the same... Luke said it was the same thing for him. We will film our... I don't, uh, all right, let's try turning on the V-Sync and see if that does anything. I have no clue if that helps. Um, all right. Maybe that was a one-off crash. Who knows? I doubt it. And what worries me is that it was so slow to fly. Uh, no, no. I don't think the mouse glitch has is FPS related because I... I've been playing with seven. I've I've been playing with seven hundred FPS without an issue. Um, <laughs> we cry. No, we didn't crash. Okay. Uh, all right. So click. Okay. Fucking stutters. What is this? I mean, sure, it's only in the menu, but that doesn't mean it's not annoying. Okay. Pilots and Marines, get to your ships. The Jedi are depending on you. Mm -hmm. Right, let's see. Okay, this is fine now. It could very well have something to do with those cheat codes. I don't know, man. Now it's fine. Because the audio is fucked because of the cheat codes. But now it looks and sounds correct, right? So... Yeah, I don't know. Wait, aren't there supposed to be enemy ships we're supposed to kill there? Yeah, destroy enemy... Fighters, there they, there they are. Yeah, I don't know. That that, I, I'm that could. I don't even know. That would have been so much worse if that was like a permanent thing where you just can't fly in the campaign. But now, now it's fine. I, I don't even know. Fucking hell. Now that the sensitivity is like it's supposed to be. But it shouldn't be an FPS-related mouse issue though. I've been playing with 700 FPS this entire review period without any problems. Yeah, I, that's the, yeah, that, you're right, space battles, or if they have different mouse input, from uh, when you're flying, uh, flying, it m might have something to do with that, but they don't even have an FPS cap in the game, do they? Like, uh, most games have... Okay, that's pretty much it, <laughs> I guess. Oh wait, maybe you need to do it in the main menu or something. Because there's no way to, to cap your FPS. It seems like. Mm -hmm. 
Du, du. We've got a banking clan ship acting as a frigate for the droids. Destroy it. Now everything is fine, so I don't freaking know. Um, but yeah, you, you might be right. Maybe it has something to do with the FPS, and that's even weirder if they sometimes cap the FPS and sometimes don't. I don't even know, man. Alright, let's break this thing. Do, do, do. I remember really enjoying attacking these with a bomber as a kid. Just flying through, I think just like, a, yeah, you can like fly like like this. Pretend, like, pretend it's a Death Star or something, you just blow it up with bombs and, oh. And yeah, it's like inst... The hitbox instantly disappears when you break it. I... Guess not, maybe. Almost instantly. Um, do we, can we choose a bomber? Actually, no, we only had. No, we just have the arc fighters here. They make it slightly easier to blow up those with fighters. I think, if I'm not misremembering, uh, it's particularly in the campaign they did that. Because I remember, uh, like, those objectives can take a while to kill with a fighter or with a bomber, for that matter. So in the campaign, since you're the only one really attacking objectives, they slightly lower the HP, I think. This is such a nostalgia though, I mean, I don't know how many times I've played through this campaign, but I know I've played it maybe two or three times on PC, and then probably a lot of kids, a lot of times uh, as a kid on my good old Xbox. Oh yeah, they've definitely lowered the HP here, I can tell that much. Yeah, there seems to be a lot of random issues, like again, maybe you're right that the sensitivity thing has to do with FPS, which is really whack, because the FPS is sometimes 700 and sometimes 144. Let's see. Engine cooling tanks. Wait, th does the campaign not have the auto turrets here? That's pretty good. Because I remember in... Uh, mm, mm, how to go in neon? Why does it look so bad? This is how Battlefront 2 looked. It's the... This is, this is how the OG looked. But in the in the no complete normal space battles, there's always a auto turret right here, which is super annoying. But I think they made it a bit easier in the campaign here. Wait, what was, I, what was I supposed to do again? Bridge. I think you cannot destroy the bridge here, if I'm mistaken. I think that's the engines, that's the shield, this is the auto turret, and this is probably... Oh, it's closed! This door is normally open when you play. Okay, never mind. Oh, can we just steal one of their... Okay, there's no bombers available, I guess, but let's steal one of their ships anyways. It's kind of interesting how, how in this game you can actually fly these, but in the movies they're they're like alive or like they're they're an actual droid. There's no B B1 droids inside of them. Let's get the shield or not the shield, the bridge. All right, nicely done. Again, works smoothly now. I don't know. Yeah, maybe I have. Maybe you have to manually cap the FPS. I actually had to do that in World of Warcraft because it was too high and it was making my 
graphics card coil wind, but usually you can do it in game. Uh, but so maybe you have to do it in like, yeah, the Nvidia settings or something. But it seems like it's the FPS not being capped seems to only be an issue when you're flying. Um, so I don't know. But why am I getting these random stutters in the menu? It's weird. They're not happening at all when I'm actually playing. Oh, Felucia, this is a good one. But again, the, the fucking cutscenes are missing, right? The end of mission cutscenes are missing. Like, I, I keep not thinking about it because it just goes straight from the mission to this. But they've literally missed half the campaign. How did they even do that? <laughs> Should I get this game? I have a lot of nostalgia for it, or is it unplayable? It's definitely not unplayable. The issues I've had are the following. Battlefront 1, I haven't noticed really any issue except that you can't remove the inverted flight controls. Uh, Battlefront 2 has issues with the multiplayer if you don't play on the official servers. If you make your own match, it will be capped FPS and it's lagging. And then there are no there, there are no ending cutscenes in the campaign. You get the cutscene before the mission, but not after. What 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 sound are you guys talking about? I, I'm not noticing any sound being different right now. Uh... Yeah, Battlefront 1 works way better online for some reason. I mean, yeah, we, we played with... Yeah, Battlefront 1 was... I would say flawless online. Uh, we tried both with bots and without bots, and it was great. But Battlefront 2, for some reason, just it's weird. Um, the objective updater sound effect is different. It's weird that I haven't noticed that. I, re I as soon as I heard that the, the Battlefront, I think they've had some issues with the sound mixing. Some sounds are a little bit clearer to me, like footsteps in Battlefront One and such. But, like, the loading screen in Battlefront 1 is messed up. It's like the weird pitch and everything. Um, but I haven't actually thought about the objective update. I thought it was pretty close, but I guess it's a little bit different. It only seems to be different on your game, not happening on IGN's gameplay video. What if I messed it up just by the that cheat code, even though I restarted the game? Charles, thank you very much for the two pound super chat. Can you please make updates about mod progress? Yes, I mean again, it seems like all the modded modders that were here earlier in the stream were happy with the files. It seems like the mods might work. So once they tweak them to work in this game, I will definitely you do that. Mm. But yeah, um, I really hope they fix the. Because I mean, I mean, this is how the campaign usually is. You see one cutscene from the movie like this, uh, and then you see one 501st Journals cutscene, and then there's supposed to be a 501st Journals cutscene. Like this stuff is great. Like Pelusia is the best. 501st got the best of the war. We also got the worst. And Felucia the Sips dug their metal heels into the muck of that alien hellhole and dared the Republic to come in after them. So we did, only to be met with the month after month of flesh-eating diseases, shrieking nocturnal predators, and other sights that haunt me to this day. That Cut crackling is not nice. By our superiors, our Every sound is lower. Oh, that's probably just because I've lowered the volume, if that's the case. Without her iron will, none of us would have come out of that mess with our sanity or our lives. When her death came, I hope it was quick. She earned that much. Yeah, and this... Oh man, this makes me so pissed off. Let's see if it works. It probably won't. But that was a really good cutscene. And the cutscene you Our get after this map, Crete. when they talk about Get-up Order 666 and Ayla Sakura is really good. And I bet that isn't going to work. Uh, it's definitely not to do anything with my stream setup because my stream is running on a separate PC if that's what you mean. 
out of commission. All right, I've got to kill some act plays. Oh shit. Unit apart. Damn, this guy's trying to like head glitch me around the corner. Clever AI. Or just bug. <laughs> Wait, maybe grenades are better because this is slow as hell. Can you get headshots on these guys? Oh my god! Can you not get headshots? Alright. Yeah, I don't blame you, Obi. You should cancel if you really wanted to play the campaign and half the cutscenes are missing. Definitely. Uh, at least wait with buying it until it's fixed. But is there someone in the chat who's leaving messages that I don't even see? Oh, okay, no, I see it, yeah. I'll 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 remove the troll for you guys, don't worry. Bye bye. Let's keep the chat nice. <laughs> Do the achievements work as intended? Uh the Battlefront 2 achievement seems to work. The Battlefront 1 achievements, I'm not actually sure. Those things are tough to take down. Two more to go. Can we get a nice look at the water reflections? Is there water reflections in this game? Yeah, I guess there is. It's more like a shadow. Wait. I, there's always... I don't think this place has fish, right? No, it doesn't. Because most of the other plants, when you throw grenades, they're like float, dead fish floating up. Oh wow, this AI is actually giving me health and stuff. Is this water different compared to the... This actually looks pretty good. Is this better than how it was... ...in the originals? I didn't realize that, to be honest. It's kind of details that I don't really notice that they've changed. Is the grenade sound really different? I think that was because it was in the water. Let's try here. Now that's the same. It was just because it was in the water it sounded different. Oops. They added some lightning effects for reflections. Okay, so I guess they did some upgrades at least. I haven't noticed too much to be completely honest. Oh, wait, we need, I forgot that we're supposed to defend this one, so we should probably not let him fire. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I. Yeah, playing this on my, my old Xbox and thick TV screen. Yeah, not as crisp. And plus you play split screen, which made you fit like this because you could, could barely see, you know? Normally it didn't sound like that in the water. Is that really new as well? The grenade? In the water? I swear I remember this, that being in the old game. Like the the audio difference being in if it's in the water. Alright. Alright. Play that objective. Kind of OP that you can actually pick up objectives while you're using this Jedi rush thing. CIS offensive is being mounted from the fungal mm -hmm. tree to the south. Advance on their base of operations there and take out their primary defense turrets. Oh wow, the Act is helping out too. Nice. 
Whoa. Actually, that. Whoa! They actually one shot the heroes. Okay. That was kind of stupid of me. <laughs> I didn't realize. Alright, we got a jet trooper at least, so that's fairly efficient. I didn't realize they one shot the heroes, but uh, uh, stupid. I have not seen Dune Part 2 yet. Oh my god. Fucking hell, I, I just team kill that guy. Let's get some health. Favorite hero to play is probably Kit Fisto, to be honest. Does Ayla Secure not have two lightsabers in the movie? Take out that battle void. Okay, this was kind of tough to take out without a Jedi, because I'm running out of rockets. Right, that one's gone. Oh, look at that, reach sergeant rank. So yeah, the, it seems like most of the achievements work in... in uh... Oh shit. Uh... Oh, fuck it. I swear I just heard a freaking act play. That was scary. Oh, nice, we can just stand here and... Where's that... Where's that act play sound coming from? Oops. Oh, I didn't even realize you could get a critical hit with a rocket launcher. This is probably the fastest way. Oh, that race rocket almost. Okay, good thing the AI is. Reach veteran war hero style. Oh, nice. That means I've gotten that four times, I think. Getting a bunch of medals. I wouldn't recommend to someone to buy the old version of this game instead of the classic collection. The question is if you already have like Battlefront 1 and 2, should you buy the classic collection? It really depends on your situation and platform. Like, for instance, on the consoles, you don't have multiplayer. So if you want to play multiplayer, obviously you got to get it. Um, and on the PlayStation, it hasn't been available at all. Uh, and I'm, I'm guessing, like, always it's going to be more stable on the consoles. It's always on PC gets fucked over because there's a million different setups. So that entire bug with my FPS being, like, 700 and probably screwing up the... Yeah, so again, now it didn't... Mm. This is so annoying. Why is there no cutscene? Like, that's almost... Okay, the multiplayer glitch is the most important one, or the most annoying one. But this is the second biggest bug in the game, that half of the cutscenes are completely missing. I'm not even, like, I'm not even... I don't even want to continue playing the campaign right now because of that. I might as well play some instant action, because that's, like... I think there might be an angry video coming out tomorrow about all the stuff that's not working. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of good stuff too, as always. And I think the, the fact that it seems like mods will be working is positive. But Galactic Conquest, yeah, why not do that then? Why not do that? Um, which one do you guys want? Let me know. No movie cutscenes either, but they were only in the Xbox. No, actually, I did get the movie cutscenes. I had the... Uh, at least before... No, the, the, the movie cutscenes worked. Uh, I got the, the one when they arrived on Felucia and when they were in space. It's just the end cutscene that's broken. Not that it matters. It should be either all. Like, it should be all of them. <laughs> You couldn't bear to look her in the eye. Exactly. That's the most classic, classic 
501st journal entry and it's not there. Uh, dark rain, dark rain, confederate, confederate, three confederate, three empire. Alright, what's going to be the four? Okay, empire or confederate, that's that has three versus three. Which one's going to win? Empire, okay, empire it is. Uh, I removed the streamer mode, so no, it's not on. Uh, it's off. So that doesn't seem to have anything to do with it. Uh, resolution settings, there isn't really any. Or I guess game options. I think I might have to go back to the main menu for that. Uh, I can't really change it here. But there wasn't much. There was like nothing for capping FPS, nothing for resolution. But oh, you could change from like window mode to full screen and things like that. Um, no, Battlefront never had a party system. If you want to, you just have to join the same server in the so server browser, basically. Or I guess it probably works to join through, like, you know, the Steam friend list, the Xbox friend list. I hope so, at least. How's it going, Dragon King? Um, I've honestly, I've played so little Con Galactic Conquest when I grew up that I don't really know what the best way to go about, like, what's worth getting. I don't know, it was honestly never really my thing, I just liked instant actions more, in instant action more, so I never put too much time into uh, Amplifies the damage of all blaster types, leader, activates your faction's playable hero for play planetary battles, let's just go for that one, why not? Uh, okay, why is it not working? Hello? What if I use the space key? Enter key doesn't work. Wait, am I missing something? Am I not supposed to be able to get this yet? Maybe this is like, un maybe you can't get it yet? Is that why? Do you have to unlock them in order? Is that the thing? See if I try this one instead. The fuck, it doesn't work either. Okay, I guess I, I can't buy any of the bonuses. I don't know why. Maybe someone else who is more pro. Okay, so yeah, unlocking new troopers might be good. We all, the default ones are just the pilot and the normal trooper. Let's try recruiting a trooper just to see if it works. Shock trooper okay, that worked. So, uh, I don't know. Uh, strange. A bonus to purchase. Why did this not work and that one worked? Huh. All right. Um, I gotta say, this map has always been really confusing in Battlefront to me. Like, uh, uh, you should be able to get them, they're consumable. Yeah, I don't, that was weird. The, the unit worked, but not the bonus. Alright, let's uh, uh, move and turn. See what the, if we get a big fight there. I think we get a fight. Nice. Oh, space battle even. All right. Increases the ammunition. Okay, well, I, did, I didn't have any bonuses to activate, obviously, so I guess we're just going in blind. Uh, let's see. Enemy forces have received I mean, supply we just gotta play... All these matters now they're playing Galactic Assault is just win. Why is everyone running in there? So I'm gonna do with the tactic I know the best, which is board their ship and blow everything up from the inside. Um, and save up the speed boost a little bit. Alright, oh shit, let's see how... No, it's, this is, is it the wrong side of the ship? No, it isn't, okay. Ay, yeah, yeah, okay, these all the turrets weren't too bad, to be honest. I think it's it, some of the factions have way harder. Or, okay, this was the wrong. Fuck, it was the wrong side. <laughs> Thought so. Uh, let's see here. Just do like that and do like that, and we should be able to get in. Okay, I guess the rebel ships don't really have a lot of auto turrets, to be honest. Alright. Oh shit. Ah. Move. They really have stormtrooper aim, even though they're not stormtroopers. But the, the auto turrets are way more deadly, though. 
Drop a bomb and run. Oh, what the fuck are they doing in here? Why are they, like the AI is so bad in Battlefront 2 in general? Like, why are they, why is it like ten troopers standing in here? What on earth? Okay, we got that one at least. All the turrets are gone. Let's get the shield. But the problem now is, oh god, we need to get our health back. And oh, I need. Okay, I'm dead. Damn, this AI was this AI was really uh, aggressive. So I should probably board one more time, to be honest. Or do I? I think it's it's faster to board and blow up and stuff. But it's also kind of fun to do some bombing. Wait, did, didn't I bomb? Oh wait, I guess the shield. No, I'm gonna go. I guess, I'm actually gonna go inside again. Just now we got freaking the entire shields left too. Let's go in and get rid of the shields. Yeah, you're right. I keep forgetting that you can use the the landing craft and actually respawn. But I feel like most times when I've done that, they just blow up the ship. Uh, when I filmed, recorded my like tips and tricks video, I kept doing that, but they always blew up the ship for some reason. Or for some reason, it's understandable, but. It's surprising that the AI is smart enough to do that. Why are they in here camping or glitching or whatever? Right, that should... Wait, probably need to... I think the... I don't know if the auto turret component respawns... But I never remember having to do it twice. It might be because once you do that, you kind of win pretty fast if you just go and do the other ones. Healed should be down. Nice. Now let's get the life support system. Well, I guess the AI just let me be in there. But I hate how these auto turrets do not get removed by the... Uh, uh, oh shit. Come on, drop. please drop some ammo. Oh yes, jackpot. Uh, nice. I am a senator. <laughs> Their life support systems have been destroyed. All right. Colon underscore senate swag. Colon underscore senate swag. <laughs> colon underscore senate swag. Colon underscore senate swag. Thank you very much, Therios, for the 53 months in the Senate, my friend. Good to see you as always. Good to see. You. Good to see you as always. Um, yes, you can land in the ships. You can board enemy capital ships. Have you never done that? How did you play space battles? Or maybe if I guess it's pretty cool that some of you guys might. Be, are, you, are are do we have any people in the chat who are playing the the classic Battlefront games for the first time? Okay, we just need one more here, and then it's actually fine. Now you guys can kill me, because there's nothing more to destroy in here, so... Bye-bye! I've never done that, this is awesome. Glad to hear. <laughs> Alright, now we need to start breaking stuff from the outside. Give me my bomber. Wait, why do I still have the... I wonder if that's a bug. I, I, like, that's always been in the game. That... Or why did I keep the... I'm not sure why I kept the damage and uh, damage and, and damage reduction bonus. That shouldn't be kept if I die, but oh well. First time playing, gotta wait till tomorrow. Awesome. First time. Glad to see so many of you first time players. I just really wish that the campaign didn't miss half of the cutscenes. Because it's not even noticeable if you don't know it. You might just think, oh, there's a cutscene before the... the, the um, the mission, and then this one before the next round. Wait, are these actually worth... I think you get some points for destroying them, right? Fuck, these guys have their own... Uh, have their own auditor system. Uh, don't the awards stay with you after a certain amount? Yes, but you need to get 64 of them in total to get a permanent uh, one. So uh, I'm not even close to that since this is a completely fresh save. Uh, 
Like when you get the, I think, legendary status or something like that. Uh, that's when... Uh, uh, they, they stay with you. Sabine, how's it going? I really hope they fix the cutscenes. That's a pretty big issue. Well done, nice, we won. First match of Galactic Conquest completed. Uh, Colin, how's it going? Yes, I played quite a bit of Heroes vs. Villains before. I, get, I don't know if there is Heroes vs. Villains in Galactic Conquest. Um, let's... Wait, what? Why is this empty? Is it always like that in... Uh... Oh, there we go. I got the Endurance. That's not correct. I got way more medals than this, so this seems to be bugged. I am pretty sure I got War Hero. I got a bunch of others here. Uh, but okay, that's glitched. Uh... Do we... Nice, we blew up their capital ship. Beautiful. Why am I getting these random ass stutters? It's so annoying. Okay, no heroes versus villains. It's weird how little I played. I like considering how much instant action and campaign I played, it's weird that I I don't know why I didn't really enjoy Galactic Conquest as a kid. Maybe I thought it was too complicated or too much. I didn't like this tactical part. I just wanted to shoot, you know? I don't really know why why that is. Let's see if the bonus actually works now, because... What the fuck? It's still bugged. No! Oh. Maybe you just gotta click the actual here and not down here on buy. Was, was it that simple? Well, oh well, it worked at least. Uh, a medal stays to your next life if you die before you get to use it. That explains a lot, because I do feel like all the times I've kept it has been uh, whenever I like die and it pops up right away. So that's, a, that's pretty neat. I didn't know that. All right. Um, got to take over some... I don't even remember, like, by winning, do you just move over here and get that? Can I not move over here? Yeah, there we go. I wanna, I wanna attack Utapau. Move. Commencing Utapau invasion. Oh yeah, let's go. Commencing Utapau. Select a bonus for this. Yeah, sure. Let's let's get the bonus going. Mm -mm. Soldiers have received adrenal injections. Adrenal, adrenaline, or adre uh, maybe it's called adrenal in, in Battlefront. Let's go. Why is there no music? Uh, sorry about that. Copyright reasons. I have to disable it so yeah, the stream doesn't get taken down. It's crazy how we've had twenty thousand concurrent viewers on this stream. That's definitely the most I've had for many many years. Uh, appreciate you all tuning in today and thank you for watching my videos as well uh, I'm gonna release my big tips and tricks video for all of you new players actually I think the tips and tricks video will probably help both old and new players maybe not those of you who know every in and out and who are currently teaching me new things you probably know everything but nevertheless uh, might be a good refresher because uh, I actually had to look up some of the things I, I talked about in the, in the tips and tricks video because I didn't remember them. You know, when I was a kid, I, you know, I just played, you know. There was no, I didn't Google stuff, I didn't, I just played, kind of. Um, the only thing I remember Googling is um, the cheat codes. Uh, there was some, like, uh, really weird, like, page that showed the cheat codes. Yeah, right now, I got the Frenzy Award, which means that you unlock a better blaster. But since I haven't gotten it four times yet, it means that um, I don't get the blasters in the foot. So I should actually, on purpose, die now. Kill me, kill me, kill me, kill me, kill me. There we go. Then I can get the medal again.
The only tip you need for single player is that the reward weapons are insanely busted. Yes, that is actually kind of my biggest point of the tip. <laughs> biggest tip of the video. I don't know why I'm starting to get tired here. Sorry if I if I sound a bit tired. It's been the last couple of days. It's been very early days because uh, you guys might know, remember that I work in a disc golf store a couple of days a week. And we're actually moving that store to a new location. So I've been working like 8 to 8 for 12 hours. And then when I get home I've been working another 4 hours-ish to prepare these Battlefront videos. So it's been very long days. Um, but uh, it's fun though. Both the Battlefront stuff. It's kind of just a bit un unlucky with the timing that the, the store move happened at the same time as the Battlefront launch. But... Uh, yeah. Um, at least tomorrow I get I get to sleep in a little bit. Would you recommend playing Battlefront One or Two first? I mean, the Battlefront One campaign isn't really a campaign to be honest, so it's nothing really that enjoyable. And now, obviously, without the cutscenes, uh, I would honestly wait. Honestly, yeah, right now, if you're gonna play right now, start off with Battlefront One. Just so you get to see, feel the difference, to be honest. They're both good games, and uh, even though it's missing heroes and a lot of stuff, uh, it, it's still a great game. And uh, if you're gonna play the campaigns, honestly wait until the patch comes out. Because that feels like it's such a major issue that they, they gotta patch it, to be honest. There's no way that they don't do that. They're, I'm gonna, like, they're gonna get a lot of shit from the community. How many kills do you have to get to get the received upgraded weapons? Um, it depends, actually. For the, for the blaster rifle it's 12, for the pistol I think it's 4, uh, for the sniper it's 6 headshots. I should actually make sure to get the, both of the medals before I die, so I should get the 12. Um, the rocket launcher I think is 4 critical hits. Oh shit, I'm getting... Okay, getting 12 kills is easier said than done, because there are too many on me. Yeah, those missing cutscenes feels like a major enough issue that they're gonna have to fix that. But I'm curious, uh, do we still have some Xbox players here? Do we have anyone from other platforms who can confirm that that issue is not a PC-only issue? Man, why are the fucking AI wrecking me so hard that I can't get my 12 kills? Oh wow, they're almost dead. We've all, almost won the game already. I'm probably not gonna get the upgraded blaster now. But if I could... Oh, come on. Alright, where do we have... Oops. Where do we have the remaining enemies? Over there. Yeah, I'm not gonna have enough enemies here to get the 12. Oh, I just killed my teammate, but whatever. I wonder if that counts towards your kill streak. I definitely don't think it's intentional. I mean, why would they intentionally remove the cutscenes? It has to be a mistake or something. Alright, there we go. Another one done. Yeah, the add-on folders are in the game. There was actually a couple of modders here earlier in the stream who wanted to see the file structure, and, and it, it seems it's hopeful. Uh... The Empire has been rewarded credits for pacifying Uta Pau. Alright, that should mean we... Ooh, get a shit ton of credits actually, nice. That planet should now turn blue, right? It did. And turn. Went to another stream and it didn't have an end cutscenes. Was that piece... 
Basically, the cutscene, the end, you know that there's multiple cut. When you play the campaign, there's a 501st journal cutscene before and after every mission where Tamura Morrison narrates it. The first one is there, but the second one after the mission is for some reason gone. It just doesn't happen. And we don't know why. It's just like, it's gone. It's so weird. Um, yeah, they tell a, a different story than the inhibitor chip stuff. Um, so it's really neat. It's basically like, what if Star Wars? Because it's like a what if where what if the clones knew about the plans to overthrow the Jedi? What if the Empire won? It's kind of, it, it's literally it's a Star Wars what if. But without half the cutscenes, you miss out most on it. Um, wait, what did the enemy do? Let's see, this is a neutral planet? Or was, what does that mean? I'm just going to go straight for them and just... Uh, I don't even remember how you win. Do you take over all of them, or... What if I go to their, their main base? Can you do that? Battle on Coruscant. Wait, did they... Oh, they attack... Garrison bonus, okay. I didn't even get to choose a bonus. Oh, wait, I haven't bought any bonuses, so obviously. Um... Mm -mm -mm. The enemy garrison has been reinforced with additional troops. Okay, how many do they start off with? Oh, wait, I think it fills up when they get low, right? Because we both start with 150. We've lost the command post. Take it back. What are you shooting? Well, it definitely has to be a bug or a mistake on their part. There's no way they intentionally remove those cutscenes. Could be a license issue. Nah, I don't think so. They have the, they have the full rights to release this, obviously. And the plus, if it was a license issue, all of the cutscenes would be gone. If all the cutscenes were gone, I would have think I would have thought it was intentional. But now that only half of the cutscenes are gone, I definitely don't think it's intentional. I think it's just a clumsy mistake or something. All right, let's see if we can get that blaster upgraded so I can show you guys. I don't think I don't know how many times I've gotten the frenzy award so far. Keep forgetting to check that, but let's, uh, oops. Yeah, 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 stop walking in front of me. You're gonna get team killed. Oh my god, what the? Stop running in front of me, please. What the fuck was that? Why is there so much weird audio things going on with this game too? Did you guys hear that? That was super loud too. Uh, I've tested the... I did three missions. Um, and all of them were missing it. So I'm gonna assume it's for the rest. Um, I did the... It, it wasn't there for Majito. It wasn't there for Pelusha. It wasn't there for the space battle. Uh, so, so yeah. Obviously, I haven't tested the entire campaign, but I think that's... Oh, I, okay, I got Frenzy. Nice. So that's... Doesn't matter that I died. And that, did that guy just fucking teabag me? He, he was like looking at my corpse. That's like playing multiplayer. <laughs> uh, this is Coruscant. Coruscant. Uh, Alright, let's see if we can get this blaster. Maybe just one more Frenzy and I can get it. W when do they get their extra garrison uh, troopers, though? Oh yeah, there we go. Now they got the extra reinforcements. Alright, let's get this super blaster so I can show you guys. But Don't die though. Come on, get frenzy, get frenzy. Stop running in front of me, Jesus Christ. Alright. This is the kind of battlefront experience. Oh no, they broke the... I remember having a kid, this, this slaughtering AI, you know? Oh, shit. Wait, shouldn't I be getting frenzy now, or...? Oh, there we go. 
Oh, there we go. Award, Elite Rifle, Reach, Veteran. I got the achievement too. Now you guys are gonna see the most powerful blaster in the entire game. Gotta swap around. It looks the same though, but... This blaster... Just take a look. Oh shit, there's almost no enemies left. I gotta be fast. I just wanna show you how powerful this thing is. I just killed two guys with one burst. And then another one right after. So yeah. What the hell, where's the last guy? Probably over here somewhere. Where is... okay. <laughs> Can confirm on Xbox the second cutscenes are missing as well. Thank you for confirming that. Uh, we'll definitely be making a video tomorrow about the issues because this is this is too bad uh, to be honest mm -hmm. I think I am gonna do one more mission guys and then I honestly really gotta sleep and but don't worry when when my stream ends, I will be dropping my tips and tricks video, and I'm probably dropping another one tomorrow. I've actually got a sponsor for the video. It's been a while since I did a sponsored video. Can you guys guess? Probably not. Uh, but it's fun. It's fun to actually have a Star Wars sponsor on the channel. I'll say that much. Or, it's not official Star Wars, but it's a Star Wars product. Um, all right. Invasion. All right, then let's go, Polis Massa. I don't actually know what time it's coming out on PC. I am from Sweden, <laughs> not Elgato. Uh, unfortunately, I, I feel really like it. just just signing thing is stupid, but yeah, I would love to work with Elgato again at some point. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not the enemy. Watch your flank. Right, let's get that blaster unlocked quickly this time, so I can just show you. And the thing is, once you get that blaster, and you get the damage reduction, and you get the damage bonus, you absolutely destroy everyone, and you become unkillable. Or, unkillable is a stretch, but you get... Oh, fucking move! <laughs> There's too many troops. This is such a packed map that it's like... Hard to not get... Especially since, it's, as you can see, when we played Heroes vs. Villains, you have every other command point but when you're playing conquest you start like this so everyone funnels into this little um, corridor basically are you into hockey at all very salming and Mats and Dean they're legends I'm I, I watch sometimes when it's like the World Cup and such but I'm not too much into hockey Give me my blaster rifle. Let's push on there. Oh shit. This is a bit off oh, fucking. There's no way. I don't think there's any way to see. Actually, there is a way to see how much ammo you have. And I just realized you can see it in the reticle. <laughs> today I learned. Or today I remembered, probably. Because obviously, it's pretty clear when you think about it. Oh my god. Right, endurance, energy region, don't really care about that one. I'm about to die, fuck. I got the improved rifle, come on. There we go, now you guys are dead. No, if I'm not dead first! Uh! Gis Gunnar, the fucking bastard, killed me. Just as I got my rifle. And that was all down to me, because I missed that last shot. If I would have gotten it on, he would have... Right. Clumsy, clumsy. And, like I said, that rifle, if you get the medal 64 times, you get a legendary rank for that medal, at which point you will always spawn with it. Except in multiplayer, of course, because that would have been OP as hell. But, okay, we need to... Oh my god, there's so many here. What am I doing? Ah! Oh. 
come on. Please get them all. Oh, there's too many of them. Give me all the health pickups. Nice. That was a good run, actually. I'm surprised I didn't die. Okay. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna die. Mm, I'm going too aggressive. Fuck me. I'm gonna way too aggressive. Like, don't underestimate the AI. You can't just, like, tank 10 of them at the same time. And this is a normal difficulty. On Elite, it's, it's trickier. Can we play now if we pre-ordered it? Depends on the platform and your location. It's mostly New Zealand and Australia who has access right now. Can we actually get this medal without dying now, please? I'm definitely gonna... Tomorrow I'm gonna... I'm not sure if I'm gonna have time to stream. Hopefully, maybe. Uh... do but nevertheless i'll probably make another video about all the issues with the uh, game and such uh, ay, ay, ay. okay let's chuck this over there oh what the fuck did that guy come from oh they're actually pushing here okay whoa fuck i'm not really playing that well i mean sure i'm getting a lot of kills oh they actually okay oh, okay we're still winning so it's fine as long as we're winning i don't care Yeah, I have early access to the game through. Uh, oh my god, I'm just kidding. Explosives is probably the AI's. Like, the worst thing, the worst, the most scary thing, except for both and spies in this game, is when you see an enemy with a rocket launcher. Because you know that guy is going to pull up a 360 and shoot you in the face with a rocket launcher, and there's nothing you can do about it. Uh. Alright, cheeky little flank. Unfortunately, the AI is, of course, has aimbot like in most games, so they will probably know that I'm coming here. Yeah. Okay. Four left. Oh, there's actually. Oh, I forgot that there's actually vehicles on this map. Uh, they're having a little bit of a vehicle fight out here, it seems like. Oh, down. There's actually a bunch of them here. Yeah, let's go. Man, this is so, so nostalgic playing this. Alright, we got it. Good night, Obegon. <laughs> it seems like, I, I don't know, I think they've improved the graphics and the lightning a little bit. I saw some like before and after pictures where the lightning on the floor looks better. And you guys were saying that the water had way better reflections and things like that, where previously it didn't. So... I don't know, to be honest. I would be... I'm gonna honestly say that it's not something I noticed. And... That's... Could be, because, you know... <laughs> I'm not very good at finding visual stuff. I, I found gameplay stuff, feeling, audio... But, like... Visually, I rarely notice those kind of things. Unless they're major, of course. Uh, 2300 credits. That's a good time to stop. I will gladly continue this... Um, Tomorrow, probably. We'll see. It depends on how long. Man, it's going to be like another 14-hour workday tomorrow. Um, but yeah, we'll see what I prioritize. Um, mm -mm. Wait, Acid Crew is playing on a full public server right now? Wait, 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 wait. Let's see. Maybe they've opened up the PC servers now for more people. Let's see. I don't really see. Wait, which platform is uh, which platform is Asset True streaming on? Because all the PC servers are still empty. So maybe he's playing on the consoles or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's streaming on the Xbox. Okay, fair enough. That's why. And um, those servers are because everyone is using the VPN to unlock it early. It seems like. So that, that explains why. Um, thank you, Kallax. I really appreciate the kind words. Um, 
I appreciate you all. I mean, we hit 200,000 200, subscribers. I've almost forgotten because it happened so early in the stream. But we hit 200,000 subscribers, guys, which is crazy after all these years to still see this kind of growth. And I'm actually a bit curious how much views my Battlefront video now. If I'm lucky, it might have over 100,000 views now. Maybe, maybe not, but almost. 112,000 views in nine hours. That is probably a new record on the channel to be completely honest and more than a thousand subscribers no way that can't be correct have i actually gotten a thousand subscribers today insane guys insane um but i really appreciate you all for tuning in for supporting i know i, I need to get better at just banning people from the chat to be honest i banned my, uh, three people today three people out of twenty four thousand. that's not too bad to be honest but like yeah instead of having stupid arguments with people i know you can't change mind yeah i've always been too nice on my streams i think i probably have the lowest ban to view ratio of most streamers you know <laughs> but I just appreciate the good vibes in the chat, you know, and I don't like usually when you guys start fighting with each other, I get involved because I want to be like the meddler or something or settle it. But it's just, just yeah, yeah, not worth it, not worth it. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm so happy the channel is doing well. Again, I got one more thing for you today. My tips and tricks video is dropping literally as soon as this stream says that it's over. The video is dropping. Um, definitely watch it if you've never played the game before. If you have played it and you only played it as a kid, watch it. Watch it anyways. Maybe you'll, maybe you'll, you'll learn something new. If not, well, maybe you wasted 20 minutes, but <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah. I, I agree. I'm glad it's getting a lot of views. I'm glad it's probably getting a lot of sales. It, it, it does worry me that there are so many issues. I hope... Because it's going to be hard to kind of suggest this game and be like, I hope it sells so much if it, they don't fix these issues. Fix the cutscenes, fix the, the PC, uh, fix the Battlefront 2 multiplayer, and I'm all happy with it. That's the thing. Do that, and all the other minor stuff obviously solved itself, but fix the cutscenes, fix the Battlefront 2 multiplayer. That's the main things. Um... There's obviously small other improvements they could do, uh, and it's clear that they didn't really... All the things that people complained about, about the originals, they didn't bother fixing them. They just tried to piece together the best parts from the different consoles. That Really the only new thing, I guess, is the Hero, Hero Assault being on more maps, kind of. Um... Yeah, I think I might do a comparison video, uh, Immortal. I think the problem is that I don't have access to the console versions, really. But yeah, it, it might be something that's worth doing. I usually leave those kind of graphic videos to other people because I just enjoy focusing more on the gameplay and features. That's just personal and preference. And I know there will be some fantastic comparison videos by, like, Asset Roo. Honestly, he might already have put one out. I don't know. Um, but it's a, it's a very good idea for sure. If I run out of, if I go through all of my current video ideas, I will do one. Um, did you ever get recruited in a clan? And uh, no, because I, I played on Xbox. I didn't even play online when I was a kid. I, play, I just played with my friends in split screen or offline. So, you know, um, I don't like the console UI being used for PC. I love it. I fucking hate it, the PC. PC UI is so ugly, it's unbelievable. I know it's a matter of taste. I just think it looks bad. It looks wrong, to be honest. Maybe it has something to do with growing up with the Xbox version and then going to PC and playing five, six, seven years on PC. I still didn't like the PC version. Um, so I prefer the Xbox version or the, the console version, but... I'm not saying it's objectively better. It's it's a matter of preference. <laughs> so I'm happy. I mean, no, I can't debate with that. If you if you prefer the the PC version, I understand. Obviously, ideally, we could choose, but yeah. I've seen some people complain about the font. I think the reason to why I'm not noticing the font difference is because there were so many years since I played this game on consoles, so I don't remember exactly what font it is. Um.
Yeah, the, the console was. This is basically the console version they ported to PC, and then took added some PC features like you know the Excel mode and things like that. Um, but yeah, I really appreciate all of your support today on the stream. Incredible show up. Go watch the tips and tricks video, and hopefully videos that I make tomorrow too. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, may the force be with you. Ever hear the tragedy of Darth Vader's wife? No, I, I thought not. I, 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 I thought not. Ever hear the tragedy of Master Windu? No, I, I thought not. I, 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 I thought not. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it.